to welcome everybody to the h3 podcast experience today's episode is sponsored by tushy and ridge wallets uh today's episode we are joined by william osman and his wife chelsea osman we recorded that earlier today it was a fantastic episode it is a fantastic episode about two dysfunctional men and their social care their wives who are social workers Mm -hmm. they're basically assigned to us by the uh, municipality to keep us straight and honest right Uh, I wasn't I was fascinated by the similarities between us frankly because we both for example have piles of laundry in our room before we (laughs) met our significant other so that we have in common I wonder if all guys do that though if that's just a guy thing do you guys have ever have a pile of laundry in your room? If, I mean, I've gotten better about it over the years. I gotta yeah. say, when you uh, when you brought that up, though, um, in my mind, I was like, why don't you just throw it in the closet? And then that turned out <laughs> that's to be where what it was. Did. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's funny. E- yeah, we were talking that Elak when she first came here from Israel. Um, I, she was saying that she was horrified by my giant pile of laundry. And then I was realizing that I had just shoved it all in my closet and then realizing that I never used my closet. Exactly. I never hung a single thing in it my was closet. Just on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I used it for was stuffing clothes in there so the room looked clean when you arrived. <laughs> yeah. We've come a long way, haven't we? Mm-hmm. I could use hangers now and everything. Yeah, you do use hangers now. Absolutely. <laughs> um, anyway, we had a really fun time, a really good conversation. I think it was uh, beautiful. A wonderful time that I think everybody will enjoy. Before we get to that, I want to do a couple of uh, announcements. Help. Help is on the way. We are giving away 100,000 du- clams. <coughs> sugar mommies. Does anyone call money sugar mommies? Not really. No. I think so. We are giving away $100,000 or 150,000 doll hairs thanks to the generosity of Brendan Green. So three winners every day gets picked for 100 days, $500 per person, $1,500 per day. All you got to do is retweet my daily post and put your PayPal link. It's still going on. We're on day like 60-something, 65. When this comes out tomorrow, it will be 68. So we still have a good amount of, you know, over 30 days left of Mm -hmm. uh, giveaways. So make sure if you want to get some free money. We are doing this, by the way, of course, because of the pandemic and everyone's out of work. So we are trying to figure out which way we can best help people. So if you are looking for a little help, that's that's our way of trying to give back. Although I have to say I'm amused by the amount of conspiracies (laughs) that I see in the threads. Yeah. People go, "Uh, you're only giving away to bots. I saw someone go, I, I swear, they go, like yesterday all the winners started with T, and they go, all the winners start with T. Mm. <laughs> you know when I saw that, oh when I did God. the drawing and they were all T, I was like, that for sure is gonna, <laughs> that's going to trigger somebody. There's like a small group of dedicated conspiracy theorists, for sure, that are always <laughs> like, but I promise you, uh, nope. the money is there, it's being given away. It just goes to show you, there's never a good deed. There's no good deed in this world, you know. And then, actually, what's the shittiest thing is that the people that actually went start getting harassed. Oh, great. And <laughs> told that they're bots. Great. Pretty much every time there's a winner, they go, I'm not a bot. Because <laughs> everyone thinks that either people are scamming us or we're scamming them. They just know there's a scam involved. <laughs> um, but It can't be possibly just a random good thing that's no. happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ela, back up. <laughs> No, there's real money and real winners every day. So that's that. Another thing I want to announce before we get to the interview with William is that Teddy Fresh just came out with a new collection, teddyfresh.com. Finally. The June look. And I have to say that I think this is probably our most refined drop ever. We've been um, working on some of these pieces for so long. And then especially with COVID, it all got delayed. So it feels really good to finally put something out. And from now on, they're going to keep coming. But this collection, I feel like, first of all, like we've got the basketball jersey patchwork. I mean, it just came out so beautiful. The shorts, sandals, our first shoes 
We called them combat ready sandals. Obviously, you can fight in the trenches show, with those things. I want to show the box that it comes in because I thought. Oh, here, let me click it then in that case. That's... Comes with a freaking box. Yes. There you go, Elo. Uh, some, I saw some female demand for smaller sizes. We unfortunately didn't. We didn't know how it was going to do, mm. and so we didn't want to just make, like, so many sizes because mm. it's just kind of like a test run for us. Mm. So we will continue to make more, and we will add more then. That's true. You know, we're working on a female collection, our we first are. female collection. Yeah, so in the future, there's going to be a lot more attention to our female, to our beautiful female customers. Our wonderful females that we love so much. Just enough, though. Not like a weird. <laughs> Not amount. too much. Yeah. Not too much. <laughs> so we've got the Not short. Not in a creepy Hi, way. Bye, mom. The patchwork. <laughs> I love this shirt. Came is a masterwork. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. A bandana. Giddy up. Perfect timing for the uh, face covering. If you need a face mm -hmm. covering, a shirt with a pocket on it. We called this one, and I have to say, this is made probably our most comfortable T-shirt ever made. It's just a beautiful shirt. Why? I keep clicking wrong, and it just. I don't know, how do you up. click wrong? It's all the grease on the uh, <laughs> trackpad, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Have. See, they don't know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. spoil anything. Stay tuned, people. Stay big tuned surprise. for the grease. Uh, big <laughs> Ash Chenille hoodie, bear scratch, lots of striped tees. These are all super comfortable, super great. Yeah. And so that is that. That's our collection. So head on over to teddyfresh.com if you want to uh, buy some clothing. Mm -hmm. With that being said, let's jump right in to the show with William. Oh, and one more piece. Uh, uh, this was actually I made it one time just for the podcast. Like I, um, I had this crew neck that I wore inside out, and I just wrote "Hi, mom" on it. I don't know if you remember. I but do. I just thought it was so funny that my mom will watch the podcast and she'll see me. Oh, I didn't realize it was mom. for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so that um, started out this piece, which is was really fun to work on. It's reversible. Let me open it up. Hi, Mom. And on the back, it says, Bye, Mom. Yeah. And then if you keep going down, this is basically the the normal side. If you flip it inside out, yeah, you get two sides. Gavish? It's like a two for one. Yeah. It's a great <laughs> deal. I'm telling you. Um, so there you have it. Uh, oh, I remember people in the comments being like, I want that Hi, Mom, Bye, Mom. <laughs> and then so we duplicated it so it looked like her markers. Anyway. Yeah. So, guys, let's get into today's episode with William and Chelsea Osman. Enjoy. Okay. And with us today is William and Chelsea Osman joining us via Gatsby. Very, oh, God. Is your foot okay? <laughs> it's loud. Yeah, they can hear it. It's just <laughs> quiet for us. I mean, that is a very American haircut, I will say. It fits the aesthetic. <laughs> you nicked your foot. Are you okay? Did it hurt? <laughs> that was there. Don't worry. Can I leave this here? Yeah, yes. I'll, I'll you, can, you want to back it out? Yeah, I'll back it out. Yeah, you can back it out. How are you doing, Chelsea? Uh, I'm used to this. This kind of abuse? Okay. There we go. It's not very cinematic when they have to back it out. It's like they, they drive in and then they back it out. It's not very... Uh, and now they walk in. Hey! Oh, they're back! Hey. Wow, what an entrance. What an entrance. Thank you, guys. Well, what a pleasure. What a joy. Yeah. Is it too cold? We just fixed the AC. Yeah, no, last I, week it, it wasn't working. I'm going to turn it. Nice. I have a jacket. You're, uh, okay. you're in the coldest seat. I'm not going to do that. I'm prepared just for the jacket. Like this. Last Actual week color. it was like 100 degrees here. So, um, everybody, <clears throat> we are in close proximity in a closed room. I don't think this is uh, recommended by health experts. <laughs> I, I know. I've been trying to figure out how do you do any of this stuff now. Like, well, we were tested recently. Yeah. And I know that uh, too, you yeah. guys, well, you definitely had COVID for sure. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. William, I th you must <laughs> I, have had I it. I said I did, but they you said, must have. We got tested later with the the For secondary him, test. There, the, we got him the antibody test when it was first available. Like the day it was available, we went and got the test, mm -hmm. um, and then we got the results back the next day. Mine came back positive, his was negative. Mm -hmm. But they also said this is not a very reliable test. Right, right? that's mm -hmm. what I heard so, too. So, dude, you had. 
So, yeah. You so had COVID. We're going to no definitely way. get him retested. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. During the period which you were sick or leading up to it a week, how much uh, stuff was going on? Like, like how bad it was it? Or? No, I mean like the how, cl- how what was the proximity of you t- you two guys? I mean, we were li- we're living <laughs> in the same together. house and we're married. So yeah, like, <laughs> right. Do the math. Yeah. There, you had to. You had we to. held hands at least three times. <laughs> yeah. We were definitely. Th- what they told me was. Well, they told me a lot of really strict things. Like, can you guys use separate bathrooms? I said, no, we're remodeling our bathrooms. So, like, we that's can't gonna do help. That. They right. were really like, okay. It's, it's almost comical, like the advice. Did they? <laughs> yeah, they said, use separate bathrooms. And they said, and when you're in the bathroom, don't use a hand towel. Put paper towels that you throw away. What? Don't share hand towels. Hmm. And I'm like, uh, that's so sure. stupid. Sure. But I'm like, I wash my hand towels at least once a week because I'm super. Like clean and OCD and OCD. Yeah, I have OCD. Whoa, whoa! Once a week is not OCD. No. <laughs> well, compared to like that's some pretty people normal. We know. <laughs> yeah. Well, but my my cleanliness okay. standards yeah. are very high to begin with. Yeah. COVID. So, and they told us to. They said, "Can you sleep in separate rooms?" And I said, I'm "I was not, all for that." I, I mean, didn't <laughs> want to do that. Like they, in New York, don't they recommend to use a glory hole? Oh, right. did you guys hear that? No. <laughs> so I swear to God, I'm not. Thing. Yeah, pull. Can you pull that up, Dan? In New York, uh, they said, well, <laughs> they first gave out their first release like a couple months ago, and they said uh, no rimming. They said don't oh, eat I out. I remember that. They were like really <laughs> like, of guidelines. All the things, no like, rimming. In their, their conference yeah. call, like trying to figure, okay, what's the public notice we put out, and that no. comes up on the table. They put a lot of emphasis on rimming, but then they put out a new statement. And they said. Uh, we recommend putting a. They said uh, uh, the exact verbiage Dan will pull up, but a wall, a, a wall between you two. <laughs> oh my god! So uh, they really recommend. They just glory told hole. us like avoid, <laughs> avoid kissing, and obviously no like sexual activity. And I'm like, I can't breathe. Everything hurts. I'm tired. <laughs> I have diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, that's not going to be a problem for me. Like, yeah. that's okay. Right. But I didn't feel like I wanted to sleep in a different room because the only thing that made me feel like kind of better was like, at least that I had my husband nearby and he was checking my breathing and stuff like that. Yeah, there was so, one point where I like poked my head in the room because she, she was going to bed much earlier, like sleeping half the day. And yeah. I kind of poke in. I'm like, oh, she's still breathing. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's breathing. Then I would yeah. go back out and do whatever I was doing. Because it, yeah. it definitely got to that point where, where I was sort of thinking like, mm, whoa, what do I, do I call? Like, do I, because, you know, like when do you go to the ER? When you right. cut your arm off, when you're someone's unconscious and they hit their head against the wall. But like in this case, I, like I don't know. Like, do you wait until someone's like completely stopped breathing? Like, what's the, you know, no one tells you. And they tell you not, you know, to to be careful with rimming, but they don't tell you like at what point do you call <laughs> right. who you're supposed what to. What point call. do you go to the ER? It was very early. You had it so early mm-hmm. that well, I was watching your video about it, and it was it was really frustrating. I, I can only imagine what you guys felt going through it. Yeah, I mean. They told you, you guys went there to get tested for COVID. Yeah. And they told you that you didn't test for the flu. You were having flu-like symptoms. Yeah. And in there, instead of them being like, oh, you have COVID, they said you have a cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, based Why? on what? Why would they say that? It just Based on it, I mean, honestly, I think it's just, so it dangerous. was so early. They uh-huh. had no information. And I think they were afraid of giving information that then you could maybe use against them. Like, oh, we told right. this person they might oh. have COVID. And then they didn't. So they're going to come be angry. I think there was just a lot of fear. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fear early on, which I felt a lot of fear, too. Um, once I knew I had it, because I'm like, is everyone going to be mad at me? Because the media was like t- attacking a lot of people, unless you're a celebrity. It was mm. a lot of negativity. Um, so it was, I- I- I'm guessing that they were playing on that manner. The lady we had, though, when they tested me for the flu, she was very um, angry. Very, she didn't like William. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? What did you do? I had a camera. Film it, she said, uh, oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, was, that kind of makes sense, but yeah. But it's yeah. your wife. I know. I Whose privacy are they protecting? <laughs> I don't yeah. Right. Like she, but I mean, after that, she just sent like another person that was like, I want to verify that you're not feeling like I was, <laughs> right. I was pleading when she would leave. I'm like, just get it away from me. I just want to get tested. I feel right. so bad. And he's like, I think Fine. he ended up putting it on the yeah, side. I just saw like, that. Like, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. It's important yeah. to document that. I think so too. Like, yeah. it's, yeah. it's I mean, why would you not? You know? well, so, if they were going to just say you had, the, like, at what point did they say, yeah, you have COVID and you need to be careful and protect those around you? Yeah. Why did they come out in this hazmat suit and all this serious shit mm. just to tell you you had a cold? Right. It's stupid. It's really it was. Stupid. And then I ended up getting the call from, 
you know, the person I got it from the next day. So we, I got the flu test that Saturday and then it was Monday that I got the COVID. The thing that was crazy Mm. to me is like, we we're just, we're lucky because she's a teacher. Right. And so she's not in school when Mm. this happened. And like, I don't, I mean, you know how it is when you make videos online, like you just stay home all day. Yeah. And so we're in a situation where it's like, you get tested and they're like, Oh, well you probably have the cold, but stay home just in case. But like, if someone told me had a, I had a cold and I had the, like, I you know, I got to pay my bills and go to work. Like, yeah. I'm going to go to work. Yes. And I'm sure. going to pay my bills because I don't have it. Mm-hmm. Why would I mm-hmm. act like I did? You know, unless mm-hmm. someone for sure yeah. told me or they tested me for it. It seems unethical. It's It was bad. You know, yeah. like in our situation, it wasn't that bad because we could deal with it. But in someone else's situation, they're just like, nah, I'm just going to go yeah. work at, you know, yeah. wherever you work. And then yeah. And then my school thing. also closed officially. So that that Friday, well, I started showing symptoms. Thursday night, I called out sick to work. Mm-hmm. I wasn't at work on Friday, and my school was closed by Monday. I mm-hmm. mean, it was just mm-hmm. like, okay, we're shut down right. until mm-hmm. further notice, and you know, keep post. We'll keep you posted. Are they closed? Are they still closed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So technically, today's my last day of school. Um, oh, congratulations! Thank yeah, she's you. on the clock. Right <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> no, uh, twelve. Um, so I'm not. So you you continue to get paid. Is there any? Um, is there any uh, requests on your time? Do they presume you to do any work or are you just oh, yeah. chilling? Oh, yes. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Oh, What yeah. kind of work are you doing? Oh, well, we're still being paid full time. So we're still working full time. So it's called distance learning, mm. online distance Over learning. Zone. So I teach fifth grade. So I was using Google Classroom, mm. um, Google Meets videos. Some people were using Zoom, assigning work, doing videos. So just kind of um, like a free for all, where they like they're kind of like they sort of give you some guidance, but they're for the there most was like guidance. good luck, figure it out. It mm. was just so quick though. I mean, how do you give guidance when we're at school on a Friday? Come Monday, we were like, oh, okay, now we're on this emergency. We have to follow the governor. Mm-hmm. We have to follow CDC. We have to follow Ventura County Public Health. Um, you know, all these different things, like depending on where you're at. So it was immediate. My district, it was. Um, it was a little bit, I think, maybe easier because we were about to go on spring break. Mm. So we had these weeks before to kind of prepare, and then we had two weeks spring break. Now, I worked during that time because you're contacting parents and you're emailing and mm. you're texting. You're getting all hours of the day because because parents couldn't just change their schedule overnight. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. okay, now I'm going to change my work hours so I can be a full-time at-home parent. I mean, it didn't work like that. So. We worked the whole time, and it was very uh, and I, like the crazy exhausting. part is a lot of the because she's in like the lowest income district. Like oh, I don't know how they schedule that stuff, and so like a lot of the kids don't have internet. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, really. So we had that was a big thing. Again, wow. that two week spring break was great because we were able to get information, gather who needs uh, you know hotspots, who like, doesn't. It's like a logistical wow. nightmare on top crazy. of just teaching the kids. Mm-hmm. Like there was so Wait, much I, stuff they had to I, figure. I can't out. believe there's kids in Ventura County that don't have internet. Oh, yeah. there's many, many, many. Wow. Yeah. And my district wow, alone. So is, yeah. It was a huge, and then we we gave them hotspots. And there were still issues because what happens when you have the hot sauce, I mean, you guys are all aware of it, but our families weren't, you know, if you have brother streaming Netflix right. and sister playing mm-hmm. video games and then the one kid that I have that's like trying to listen to a class, yeah. all the stuff is being used. And so they're like, I can't hear you. You're breaking up because all the Internet's been used mm-hmm. or all the bandwidth's been used that day. So it was a huge issue. That's why Internet needs to be a. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, somewhat controlled. What do you call utility. it? Utility. utility. Mm-hmm. It should be. Agit pie. You <laughs> fucked us all. We're, we were going. That's Agit the FCC. Pie. They literally had to go to, you know, one of the cell us. networks. Like they, they didn't even use, like, the local internet providers. Like, they went to a cell network because that was, like, the easiest thing to do. Huh. You know? Wow. So now some some cell phone company is, like, making a bunch of money off the district. <laughs> by the yeah. Oh, and so we just wrong. collected them. That's what we were doing this week was collecting back technology, Chromebooks, iPads, hotspots, and all that. And our, we're, we're frantically trying to figure out what are we going to do for next year that's going to be better because this was we tried our best, and that's better than nothing, but it wasn't the best. Wow. And kids didn't receive as much equity as they should have. Of course. Yeah. And it, it wasn't anyone's intention. It was just you can't predict mm-hmm. or control home lives. And you can't tell, okay, you're, I can see your brother in the background playing Call <laughs> yeah. of Duty. Like, please. What do you get? You can't go in there and get them with, like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's a pretty yeah. good use of the house. I know, this, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I that's a hard argument to make. I know. Okay, I was required <laughs> to do an hour and a half, they had to have an hour and a half of work, and this was like mandated by you know the state, like, okay, this age should be doing this much. Da, 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 da. 
So yeah. they could have waited to do. COVID. Well, to <laughs> to uh, to backtrack a little bit, I do have the uh, guidelines from New York City regarding sexual activity. Would yeah. you guys like yeah, to hear yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so take note because this applies to all of us. <laughs> Make it a little kinky. They say be creative with sexual positions and physical barriers like walls that allow <laughs> <laughs> that allow sexual contact while preventing close face to face contact. Is that why the lines at Home Depot were so long? <laughs> Just a ton of drywall and shit. <laughs> Everyone's got like this. Dude, I gotta be honest. There's <laughs> literally nobody that? doing that, right? No. Fucking it, through a hole? Absolutely not. Uh, well, not no. not because of that. They were already doing it if <laughs> like, they were doing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If that was someone's, you know, <laughs> you know desire, that, that would have happened okay before. Cut a couple of holes. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> so, so, tell me, what was the, I mean... Do you f- feel you fully recovered from COVID? Cause yes. Yeah. At this point, I do. I feel like I have 100% lung capacity, mm. you know, my muscles, like no fatigue, all that. But what really kicks your butt, the, like, for is it takes a long time to get back to your normal lung capacity. Yeah. So the the first two weeks were severe. And then the next two weeks, the, is you're the just day trying I to thought recuperate. It was the worst. Like the night where I was like poking my head in to see if she was still breathing, which sounds pretty bad. Uh, that was, it was immediately better after that. Mm-hmm. Like the next day it was, it was cause it had kind of progressed to like, I want to say like maybe half lung capacity where she was like, mm-hmm. that's bad, <laughs> you know, and then it would like be painful. And then the next yeah. day it would just get, you know, it would, it was better. Like, Did you take any medicine? Were you just on NyQuil? Anything? Well, they said they didn't know. No, what they st- just like, said looking it ibuprofen. No, they said don't take ibuprofen. No, they told me I could. I remember no, they were no, flip flopping. They were yeah, flip flopping, but like, I, but then I they called th- them and said it's okay if I take them. They're like, yeah, there's they there's some you stuff coming like, out. What the fuck do we know? Yeah, you have a cold, but yeah, take some ibuprofen. I tried taking instead of. I think I tried taking Tylenol. So there I think they said one. don't take Tylenol, but and that just take didn't ibuprofen. Do anything. Really? Mm-hmm. The Tylenol, I would take, because I was taking ibuprofen, it would give me some relief from the severe body pain, because that was the worst part mm. for me. And so I tried the Tylenol when there was like some studies coming out, and I had zero results. I'm like, I feel just as bad. Mm. So I switched back to ibuprofen. I'm like, I don't really care if they say it's bad. Yeah. It gives me relief. Yeah. So I can kind of function somewhat so I could sleep that was mm. what it was I couldn't mm. sleep because yeah. I was in so much pain but if I could take ibuprofen I could get myself into a position and actually fall asleep gotta take it yeah so mm. I did good and then they came out you know a week later okay yeah no ibuprofen's fine It's you could take it yeah. so do you know how you caught it yeah mm. how'd you catch it so I caught it um, from my therapist so I was at an appointment uh, with her uh, Monday the 9th, yeah. and we're in a, a, you know, her office. She has two couches. I didn't, we don't shake hands. We don't hug, anything like that. She opens the door. Wow. Um, sat down. We had an hour-long session. Of course, this was before we had guidelines. Or you guys were probably we, even further away than we are now. Oh, yeah, mm. definitely, uh-uh. by far. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, just having a normal hour-long session, talking, you know, normally like you do, um, and then she opens the door. I mean, the payments electron. Every there's yeah. no touching. That's incredible that it's that contagious. Mm-hmm. That just sitting across. But you guys are probably six feet apart. I mean, you don't sit yeah. that close, right? Right. No. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Pro- I would say approximately, maybe like it's the closed room. Bit, so but how it's do a closed you know? Room. You found out that she had it. So she contacted she... me. Oh somehow was able to get tested yeah. like i think she had a friend or something that where she was able to like force herself to get tested she's also a force to be reckoned with you're not going to tell her no she's gonna very mm, get spicy. things done what well she's you? she's knows what she's doing yeah. and she's a professional and she knows but she, that i've seen many patients and... she had to force her getting a, mm-hmm. a test and then once she had it and she got the results which was you know what's that a week or something mm-hmm. it took she us got exactly hers a week. quicker then she calls all the clientele and oh says you have it and then we tried to get tested that's when, no no that was we try to get tested they test me for the flu and i found out two days later from her that we went she to, was positive we went to urgent care urgent without care knowing the anything flu. then her called therapist called her and then we went and said like she's a teacher she's just been at school She's been in contact with And I with called my doctor. primary doctor. And then they said, Ew. okay, we'll do it. Wow. So you basically had to have, like, almost guaranteed. Early on, you had that's to have crazy. been in contact yeah. with someone who was positive. It's like, or else they wouldn't test you. That's, so, yeah. so what do you think about the situation now as someone who's been through it? I mean, the early... Uh, 
the early reaction that our government had right. was was obviously uh, yeah a tr- tragic. It's a conflict of interest, mm-hmm. right? Because like if you react too strong, I I think the problem in general, like it's really sad because like I've described this to people that like humans are really good at analyzing situations at certain time scales, right? Mm-hmm. So like if you're like dealing with something really fast, it's hard to deal with. If you're dealing with something like in the seconds range, it's pretty easy to deal with. When you're dealing with something on like the really long time range, you think that it would be even easier to deal with, but it's actually the opposite. And so it's like the government has to make a choice about what they think is going to happen. And if if it works and they made the right choice, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But people lose the feeling of concern Mm -hmm. and then they get mad at the choice. And so there's no feedback that validates the correct decision. Right. They're calling yeah. it like, yeah, the, everyone's feeling fatigued from right. isolating. Right. And, and it just, you know, people begin to feel like we're being suppressed mm-hmm. as opposed to we are taking action to prevent something from happening. And so it's like mm-hmm. it's very difficult to kind of recognize that it did do anything. Yeah. I, I heard. So, so it's a very frustrating. And it's also hard for people if they don't know someone personally. Mm-hmm. It's hard to them. To, it just feels right. so. Yeah. I mean, my brother told me he was at the grocery store. Even this was less than a month ago, and the guy behind him in line was just like, "Oh yeah, I, this is being blown out of proportion. I don't know anyone that's had it. This is." And my brother turned around and was like, "Um, my sister had it. So can you like shut it while you're <laughs> in public right now? Because I find what you're saying really offensive, mm-hmm. and incorrect, and right. you know, dangerous to be talking like that." And the guy was just like, "Oh." I'm you know, sorry, right. <laughs> but that's going around constantly. Yeah, it's turned into a political issue, yeah. which is so weird because, I mean, this is just a public health issue. Right. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about wearing masks and people, we, we did a whole segment here where there was people who were crying because they couldn't go into a grocery store right. without a mask. Right. And, um, and it's just so bizarre. We it's know so people. bizarre. We have, you know, like family in other parts of the country who who kind of act like that too. And it's just like, I don't know. They're just I, getting bad information. Like, that's the, that's right. the kind of person that you can sort of reason with and have a discussion is also usually not the person that yeah. behaves like that. And Correct. so it's like, how are you supposed to have, how are you supposed to like have, you know, like a debate where maybe somebody learns something or thinks about something a different way? It's know, bad like, info, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's nothing to do. That's, that's kind of the problem. But look at this shit. I just want to show you guys because I've been following this very closely. I don't know if you frequent this website. Yeah. Yeah, I love mm-hmm. this website. And how ours is uh, plateaued and then increasing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here, <laughs> pull up the... And you look at other countries. By the way, all, oh, yeah, all the other countries are like... Uh, Downhill. Italy, yeah. mm-hmm. China, South Korea, Japan, all the countries mm-hmm. that had a bra- bad outbreak. And America, baby, we are crushing it. Yeah. By the way, this Fake was... Fake news! This was expected. Motherfuck off with all these pop-ups. <laughs> so here's the thing. This was expected to drop off in the summer yeah. mm-hmm. because everybody's outdoors. The virus doesn't do well outdoors and in the sun. And then it was expect- the sun will get rid of it. And yeah, it, was, it will magically disappear. <laughs> and so, and so, we were expected to really have a total drop right. off during the summer and then a resurgence during the fall. Right. But because people are literally not, everyone's just right. back to life as usual. Mm-hmm. You can see. Now, in still in June, right. we're almost back up to our peak yep. numbers. Yeah. 27,000. And, and trying to reopen just seems impossible because you have this. And so plans are like, okay, we have a stage one, two, three, four, five. We're getting up to those stage three, four, and we're going to have to go backwards and see oh, yeah. schools. We're Do planning think... on four scenarios for the fall, oh, really? which mm. is going to be 100% distance learning, 50%, 25%. Or normal, which is like, that's a Hail Mary. That's not going to happen. Mm. But we have to be ready because we don't know with numbers what we'll be able to you do. You guys are like the military. You've got like strategy right. and it's everything. Insane. Mm-hmm. Well, it's insane. It's so much work. We have a lot of Like they have to figure out how you, to. You guys, we got to put you teachers in charge of everything, man. Because you know what? <laughs> you think about <laughs> when this happened, <laughs> teachers <laughs> yeah. overnight yeah, <laughs> were like, we're doing online. And I'm not saying that it went great, but at least it was better than, okay, Nothing. you have parents, you have your kids now for an extra mm-hmm. four months. At least we did and teachers overnight this happened i mean i was sick with coronavirus writing lesson plans mm. watching youtube videos getting ready gearing up. i mean thank you for your service complained about thank you for your service of, like the older teachers who have trouble logging into their email and stuff so like now imagine that's true how much <laughs> yeah that's all right like, <laughs> yeah. well that's true there's a lot of old teachers also, right they've really been trying they're it's great awesome. people you know awesome. but they are not they don't understand right. zoom it, um, then it puts like a burden yeah. on her you know when she's trying to help other people and oh shit. Like, yeah i feel I, really bad for the kids because mm-hmm. it's 
It's such a weird environment for them. It's so especially and, and they have young all this one. energy, and they need to get out and do yeah. stuff. And they're gonna learn, like they're gonna grow up, especially these little ones. Like, no, 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 don't touch, don't share. When that's mm. what we teach in school, mm. you learn mm. social cues and how to get along and how to be <laughs> fair and how to, you know, all these things that you're going. How do we do that mm. with distancing and to be? How do we teach? You know, safety and health is important, but. Right. All these other things. And, and when does just... all the like the sort of new rules and stigma yeah. go away? Like when mm-hmm. is it sort of safe? I mean, look at like all the nine eleven stuff where you're still it's, seeing... a lo- it's gonna be a long it's, motherfucking It's easy time. to make and something social, happen when it's, it's an gonna emergency. Be... Years. And it's very difficult to try to go back years, to normal. Years, years, years. Because everyone's yeah. scared, you know, like even if you technically yeah. don't need it anymore, everybody's like afraid to make a decision. Yep, and we're like, creating a lot of anxiety and in, in kids and of course adults, but the kids because they don't know how to differentiate right. and kind of compartmentalize, okay, well these are the things where I need to be said. These are the things like it, it, the social emotional issues have skyrocketed mm. in districts. I mean, I know how my school has been affected. I know how my grade level, mm. my students, that is huge. And we already we have one counselor at our school of over seven hundred kids. Wow. Yeah. You know, and the issues now every year have been increasing. With this, they're going to skyrocket. Mm. Well, we have one counselor, and we might be losing funding. I mean, it's just it, these are things. Wait, that you're it, losing funding? Why? Their potential for what? For just for a budget cut or something else? Yeah, so please call your Congress. Is it, is it, who's cutting the budget, the state or the federal government? Both. Yeah. So calling in to both. Both have colluded to cut funding further from schools? There's, because we've been in declining enrollment. We've had, like in California specifically, we've had declining enrollment. So there's been a lot of budgetary issues. So this year alone, we had to cut two and a half million from my district. And I'm not, you know, our district's not alone in this. We're potentially going to have to cut eight million next year if people don't call. I mean, we've been doing campaigns. Wow. Call, call, call. It's already call, affecting and, like our health insurance mm-hmm. and everyone else's health insurance. Yeah, our our health insurance already is going up. Yeah. Oh, like we what? just got an official email from our, you know, superintendents last night and they're like we we want to keep negotiating but as of right now this is where here's our cap here you know that's crazy so eight million dollars is not that much when you consider the entire budget of right. the federal and state right. government but I can tell how is that not a priority and a half million this year resulted in cutting 30 jobs and we were super lucky to hmm. get a huge retirement um you know initiative so we had a lot of retirees so only nine teachers you know in our right. district got laid off but it's going like to be spend a bunch of money because it's more efficient to try to get rid of like the the high end, oh, the guys really? who are getting paid more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's uh. like if you can get them to retire early by incentivizing them, then that will sort of. Dude, like schools should be f- flush with money. And then yeah. next year we're going to need bad. more like, people. We're going to need more counselors. We're going to need more nurses. We're going to need smaller settings. And then you're going to cut our budget. I mean, I don't know every, how we can every do year that when we do taxes. It's like that little crazy. form of like, uh, how much money for teachers did you spend this year? And you get up to two hundred and fifty dollars off. And it's like, mm-hmm. I, I, oh yeah, two hundred fifty dollars yeah. the first week of school. It's comical. Yeah, it is. And I actually don't. Even know how much money she spends. But oh, like, she has to spend a lot. Of oh, yeah. Money. It's you know what's you funny? Uh-huh. And Trump's uh, his his tax cut bill. He limited the amount of money teachers can deduct mm-hmm. for fucking oh, supplies was, is they it buy. More than two hundred. It's less. Yeah, than it was more, well before you could deduct anything you wanted right. as a business expense. Correct me okay. if I'm wrong. No, I think no. it was. It was a two hundred fifty. There, there was a cap. limit. Oh, there was. Yeah. There was a limit. So, Maybe, like, is it less than that? Two fifty. Oh, it's yeah. It's it's insane. And this is yeah, a district where, like, you know, the, the families are really poor. And so you have to either fight the school for stuff, like, which could even include, like, you know, sometimes paper and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, paper? You, you get so much. It's like, like your, your, your budget essential. for the year. Cleaning supplies. Your like, budget for the year if you go over it. Though. Cleaning supplies? Like, so like Clorox wipes and stuff. Well, we're technically not allowed to have those in our room. Yeah, but sometimes you got to need a Clorox wipe. I do, though, Why? because we eat breakfast in our classroom. Yeah, so, yeah, that, like those are, like, very... I'm also in the <laughs> union, so I probably... <laughs> I know a lot more. Yeah. I'm very wow. active in our union. <laughs> but, yeah, well, it's, it's basically everybody spends their own money. Like, you have to. Because yeah. if you just need there's, something, well, it's like, it's, I'm not going to try to, like, waste a bunch of time and fight. There's not a like, single yeah. go to, who doesn't spend Well, it's a good thing you were highly paid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that I care more about my students than about. Isn't that myself. fucked up that in America they 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 count on the general these people yeah. like you 
caring about the kids it's more than they do about their own it's income. Really bad. Yep. Like, it's I have to try to like crazy. I have to try to help her all the time to understand. And I'm why so you, like you can only do as good partner. of a job as you can do. Like yeah. you you can't solve all the problems and at the end of the day like you can't have a perfect solution. You just have to have the best solution. And you're not going to like save everyone. You're not going to like you're always going to have those troubled kids that you know cause you you know the most grief that you feel bad of like you can't help them almost. What do we do? This is not okay, I feel like. I don't know. Like, do we take? Do you think taking money from the police and putting it towards school and community things? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I and and like education, after school programs, mental health that services, cuts down on crimes. Yeah. All of that. It's mental a, health. Yeah, they're solving the problem right now basically. at yes. my school. I can have in my classroom with with about thirty kids. Approximately four of them are able to get into the free program after school mm. because it's so, the limited space. Dude, crime will definitely insane. go down right. with after school and programs. Why are that's proven. And put them in and offer sports with <laughs> why do you need to pay to put your kid in soccer? So wait, are you, like you are you telling me you know? that after school programs are better for society than police tanks? Correct. <laughs> You telling me you're going to take tanks away tanks from the police. Pretty Correct. cool, Tony. Take the tanks away. Take all their extra, like, shields and weaponry. What if we give the all tanks these fancy... to the kids? <laughs> no, you Well, don't. hang on. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. I'm telling you, so when I was a kid, I would have loved a tank. It, and that's exactly why you shouldn't give them to the kids. Because can you wait, imagine? wait, wait. I, are you telling me the police don't need grenade launchers? They do not. I I'm think the kids should have the grenade launchers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Again, at least share those. William right. would have loved right. this as a child. He was always He's a mad scientist. Yo, our country Always. is so fucked in the ass. It's, there's a, I think there's... This is so yeah, bad. It's really bad. It's terrible. And and it's really difficult to try to explain these things to people who are so against. Like They're like, you're going to defund the police. We're going to have no police officers. It's going to be so dangerous. I'm like, I feel that like is not... We're just taking not some tanks away. We're just yeah. we're yeah. cashing in right. some tanks for right. some paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's for it. some like, basketballs and coaches. Yes. And, and, you know, I can be... like Teachers... I would be at least if I can do an after school, I'll be a coach. I'm not great, but it's better than nothing. And of course, the better, you know, the better train we have. The you know. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear how PE better. works? Gosh. Yes, I'd love to. I mean, PE, physical education. Do they? What is? What about? Yeah. They have one PE teacher for like the entire district. <laughs> what? And so they we like, have they one like go... specialist that comes once a week. It's a program. It's a great, great program if you can get it all the time. It's called Sparks PE, and it's like an acronym. It's wonderful, but we get her once a week. But yeah. there's other PE teachers, So I teach right? PE. Well, she has oh, to you? Do it. Yeah. I teach PE. And, but you also teach other things? or your I'm primary? a multiple subject, so I teach everything at elementary <laughs> school. Really? So just imagine, like, I teach PE. Those are mandated minutes. Other teachers teach PE. Right. P. E. It's sort of like subjected to like Kinda. who the teacher is. They're just yeah. like everybody teaches PE here. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and some, some teachers people... might do less than others. And mm -hmm. so it's, you know. Yeah. And some teachers. Because it takes time, right? It, so it's like know? if you're behind on other stuff, like PE exactly. is the thing that you're going to forget about. And now you have all these budget mm -hmm. cuts. Like, is that person even going to be able to give the kids? Like, well, it's not even you once a week, right? It's like the school gets it once a week. So you have to trade. Like, it's my grade level gets it one week of the year. Oh, that's mm -hmm. it. it's like why do you even have Wait, it? What one week of the year? My grade level gets it one <laughs> week of the year because she goes to all the schools in the district and she's doing the same thing. So she has to, her schedule is full the beginning of the year. One week at this school and this grade one week at this. So she's doing all the district. And this is like when you do like the big like <laughs> like a uh, flappy tarp thing, right? The cool that, fun the stuff. Cool yeah, fun the stuff. parachutes and like yeah. the really fun like yeah. where you have the hula hoops or you have the the you know, fuzz balls. The or kind of thing that flag. makes kids like excited to come to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And she's like, awesome. Um, and I just I know that other districts have that program. You know, they get it every week, every single week. But it's all about monies and funding. And when we're looking at our budget of like. They do that every week with a freaking cool. Some, some districts do yeah. if they have more money. If Which is just from property affluent, tax, right? Mm -hmm. More affluent area. And then you get yeah. donation. There's all kinds of ways that you mm -hmm. can kind of, you know, make the numbers work. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have other priorities in our district that come first. And yeah. if we lose more. And every year we're like losing more budget. We haven't even recovered from the 2008 recession at schools. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to be you know losing money again we haven't even brought back all the arts programs all mm. the music programs it's like they're starting to slightly come back just a little snippet a little taste a little little dab of it and it's just you know potentially going to go away again and people are like what keeps kids in school mm. music art 
sports, yeah. you know, all the things that well, I remember excited. in middle and, school, were you went to Balboa? Where would you have gone to middle yes. school? Yes. Okay. Oh. That's where I went. I went to Cabrillo, Balboa. <laughs> Balboa, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do they call Cabrillo? What did... I, dude, Balboa was the shit. I didn't even think about Cabrillo. Really? I just thought they were all weirdos. I was closer to there. <laughs> but, but we, that like, was like a thing, though. Like, I, there was nicknames for all the middle schools. Anna Crappa. Anna Crappa. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it so weird? Much. Like, in Ventura, there was like two competing high schools. Yeah. And I thought, I went to uh, uh, Buena. Yeah. How do you forget that? Dude, it's been <laughs> so, long, it's so long, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. And then what was the other one? Uh, Ventura. That's where you went. No, no, I well, I, that's where I was supposed to go. We they went they to built a magnet. a magnet school. Oh, you went to the what was that called? Foothill. Yeah, Foothill. And then we I were did the sports dragons. at Ventura. So here, so I thought the Ventura kids were so weird. It's yeah. like a Bizarro U. Yeah. You are you guys fans of Seinfeld? You know the Bizarro Seinfeld episode? Mm. <laughs> it's like that. And then Foothill was just a bunch of weirdos. That's yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that was that that's was right. yeah, We were the weirdos. Was... I mean, our mascot was a dragon, though, so it's pretty cool. Nah, I remember feeling that way about kids from other schools. Yeah, it's like just ingrained in you now. You see him. You like see him on the street sometimes yeah. and you're like <laughs> we would have buena nerd days <laughs> like they'd have buena nerd days or ventura like depending where you went and even at foothill the magnet school because i did sports at Vent- oh, i did i did tennis i was terrible but you could dress up for nerd days and you picked what school so mm. i would dress up as a buena nerd and other people would dress would up you, as why ventura. would you do that because That's rude. because i, I did sports at ventura <laughs> and, you know all uh, those things it's like it's just ingrained and that's the school's encouragement it's so that. funny though how like the tribalism like I played water polo in high school, and we when, when we compete against Ventura, it was like these motherfuckers. I don't know. Oh, you like actually want to hurt you? Them. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah! It's gonna be a dirty right. game. Oh yeah, they are. Like, my cousin plays. They make you plays. check your like nails and stuff because yeah. people will scratch. Them my cousin, yeah. she's on the girls' water polo team at Ventura, and they check your nails, but they don't check your toenails. And she's your like, nails? "Oh my god, They're girls to. just really like some of the stuff you. I've heard her say. How old is she now? Oh, how old? Thirteen. No, she's not 13. She's going into her junior year. Like I've heard, like, she said, like, some of these people are just nasty. Yeah. Like, Underwater? Like, trying to drown oh, yeah. each other. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, That's so one of the things is so they tight. pull the Speedos off. Yeah. A lot of uh, water polo players will wear multiple Speedos. So it's like a clown. Oh yeah. So you can't lose your trunk. What? And then another thing they do is, like, if someone's swimming in front of you, you grab their leg and try to pull them underwater. Oh but it's like, then you get into the mind games where if somebody's behind you, then you pretend like they grabbed your foot. Uh, you go, oh, you so you're like a professional off. soccer so player. It's, yeah. it's all part of the game. Oh my god. Right, right. Yeah. But it's so it's pretty. We gotta go to break. Damn, was that a sound bite? Because it was very quiet. It, it was a sound bite, but it was actually. Can you play it well. again? Oh. So sorry to interrupt. We gotta go to break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are gonna throw it to a quick break. When we come back, there is more William and Chelsea Osman. You poop, you wash, you dry. It's a three-step process. Tushy is in the business of blasting ass with water. Wiping your butt with dry toilet paper does not remove all the shit. I love this copy. (laughs) Uh, If you got poop on any other part of your body, would you just wipe it off in dry paper? That's a really good point. It is such a good point. Uh, Water cleans way better than dry paper, my friends. Thankfully, there's now a sleek bidet attachment that clips onto your existing toilet, sprays your butt completely clean with fresh water, and it's called Tushy. And it's the best thing you could do for your butt. Tushy sprays directly to at your ass and removes the poop completely. So you aren't sitting on bacteria that leads to nasty things like hemorrhoids, yeast infections, UTIs, or itchy buttholes. Or skid marks. If you're a grown man with skid marks and itchy assholes, you need Tushy because you ain't cleaning right, buddy. Bidets are common in the rest of the world. A bidet saves you money on toilet paper and you... Uh, if you still maybe a little toilet paper, but it's a very negligible amount. I'm talking a roll will last you a lifetime. A dab will do you. It won't clog your toilets. And Tushy sprays your ass with fresh water. It's not toilet water. It connects to the water supply behind your toilet to spray your dirty parts with clean, fresh water. It's the same water you brush your teeth with, guys. You guys, come on. Wet wipes are worse than toilet paper, as we've learned on the show. They're terrible for the environment, and they cause anal fissures. I don't want my anus fissuring. Do you? Oh, and here's the best part. It's only $79. Why aren't you guys trying the miracle of Tushy? $79. Helps you get everything out. It's like a sexy... Oh, and then they have an ottoman as well, which apparently helps if you put your feet up. It helps shitting. 
It helps get everything out. It's a sexy tooth or cloud that helps you poop, they've described it as. And it's only $69 as well, so not bad. So if you want, you got to get those tushies, boy. Go to hellotushy.com slash h3h3 to get 10% off your order. hellotushy.com slash h3h3. This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallets. It's a light, sleek, and industrious, beautiful wallet for the new age. No longer in the world of Costanza wallets, huge, bulgy wallets. You put it in your back pocket, it messes up your posture, it gives you back pain. I mean, frankly speaking, who can tolerate a huge chunk of crap in their pocket? That's where Ridge comes in. Practically indestructible, sleek, wonderful. It's got, it's, it, look, it's the future now. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge, and it's seriously changed the whole pocket situation. Zach, tell me about how much you love Ridge. And I'm not even putting, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but you've been, you've been raving about it. I can't express to you enough how much I love this wallet. <laughs> Go on. Like, it's, a, it's amazing. It's game changer. Like, I, it I'm not just BSing. Like, it really is sleek and, you know, it's not super profound in your pocket. Right. Yeah. It's not super profound in your pocket. Look, it's 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 just genius. You got the money clip. Yes, I am rich. How much money I got here? Five? And a couple of ones. <laughs> Loaded. You got the money clip. And then here, they've got this really slick design. I don't want to show my credit cards like I did last time. We had to blur it out. But the credit cards... <laughs> can you show... Out. Yeah, you could see it on the back, huh? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't show it. They just... <laughs> <laughs> Some internet sleuth is gonna decrypt my card numbers from the back. <laughs> they just slide in, and then there's a there's a little button here. They pop right out. It's like, I mean, come on, who are you kidding? You barely notice it. Uh, most people are using wallets designed in the '90s, carrying old receipts, gift cards, hotel keys. Give me a break. Here are the features that you need to know about. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 20 colors and styles, including carbon, fire, and burnt. Titanium. I like my titanium burnt. I don't know about you. I really love it. And don't take my word for it. It's got 30,000 five-star reviews. It's made of durable material, which means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for life. The Rage team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. And you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Wow. That's putting your money where your mouth is. So, we've got an offer for my dudes here. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash h3. That's ridge.com slash h3 for 10% off today. So, we have uh, discussed many important things. Yeah. But we're going to move on to something even more important. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. First of all, we have first. This hits two two issues. <laughs> One being that we discuss bad tattoos. It so, looks like worms, doesn't it? Yeah, it does not <laughs> look like really beef. It's horrid. You know, what is? How does this rate? And Wait, by the way, so... can someone explain what's beef and ched now? Ched now. Is that like, a thing? No, it's like he's saying, like, he's I'm going to have one now, now and later. I'm going to have one later. Because you could get the two for one special. Like, like Wait, here, not oh. on you? No, I don't. Oh, God, no, I'm not. I don't have he any doesn't tattoos. have any tattoos. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so who's what? I retweeted. So wait, wait, wait. Did you think this was Explain, me? no, but okay. explain the tattoo. I thought it was going to say it's this Arby. is your tattoo. No. Like I, I, uh, <laughs> I, for some reason, I was looking beef at him. Beef Ched now. What does that mean? <laughs> beef, oh, it means he buys two beef okay, and cheddars, beef? eats one now, and he eats it later. Oh, dude, why? Because they're always like a two for one <laughs> yeah. special. Yeah. So you guys oh. do go to Arby's a lot. No, no, no. Do not. I do not. You know about the two for one special. Because of him. So tell me about Arby's. I don't eat at Arby's or go there. He will drag me in there so he can get something and then... You won't even eat while I, you're there. No, I don't eat. I don't eat beef. Wow. Oh, you're... Or pork. She's, she'll just know, like, red stuff. She likes yeah. Wait, chicken and beef. Chicken what's and your opinion on pizza? Pizza? I love pizza. She likes okay. pineapple. Yeah, but, e Ela's the only... But I, like I, I was Dude, hoping that I'm lactose, intolerant. I'm lactose intolerant though, so pizza doesn't like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But isn't it kind of good you Not just shit same. it all out? Another day. <laughs> to be I a little bit crass. I take lactose pill, but it still is like, it's a... I wish that when I ate pizza, I just diarrhea it all out. <laughs> kind of awesome. 
It's awesome. I don't see what's the problem. You have a it's superpower, painful. Chelsea. It's uncomfortable. Oh, it's painful. But I like like pizza it's painful with for like me too pesto because it, you know, it's and yes. like feta cheese. Okay, me like too. my favorite kind of pizza. Is, right. Like if there's like, like one good called pizza. Mediterranean and it's like yeah, I'll feta, eat that. pesto, the fuck? tomato. You never you get will that. Never, I'll get whatever. I'll say you I'll eat whatever like, pizza you want to put on fight, it. Fight, fight. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. She doesn't like pizza. I'm like, yeah, I don't like meat or anything on it. So, and I, I don't care about meat. I'll eat but pretty much anything. Yeah, he's yeah, like, that's my problem. Yeah, I won't eat anything. So, like, tell me, <laughs> tell, you really genuinely love Arby's. I, I Arby's is I, I feel the same way about McDonald's as I do Arby's. Like it's just no another way. fast food place. I just think that it's Arby's is kind of a meme. Like they've got their giant <laughs> that hairstyle. Hat. Like they're them. really good at shit posting on Twitter. They, I, <laughs> have you ever seen someone do that with a Big Mac? No. no, no. I mean, there's like there's a special. There's a culture. Know, there's a culture behind Arby. Well, uh, have you heard about the Meat Mountain? I think I have. Is it like the everything? Bring it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. You actually did. Let me tell you the lore, the Meat Mountain lore. Oh no. Ooh, I'm about as excited right now. So they they sent a box, and I was speculating that they had Arby's hats in the box. And when I opened the box, and there were Arby's hats, I was incredibly excited. <laughs> And I'm about the same level excited right now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big that thing is. Oh, my God. This one's even bigger. <laughs> oh. Wait, do we have this? two, Dan, or do we have more? God, I, this is the probably... <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is repulsive. Is it Christmas? Or Hanukkah? Uh, yeah, it's it's both. <laughs> oh, the ho- he loves the horsey sauce. So, so this one's for oh. you. <laughs> this one's for me. Yeah. Now, let me give you a little background okay. on, the, on the meat mountain. So Zach, the, our sound guy, smaller than I thought it would be. He's a meat boy. Smaller. Take I mean, it it's out. And big. Look at it. <laughs> Bro, what? Whoa! <laughs> How is that smaller than you expected? Oh what a mess! That I actually have the uh, I have the uh, the ingredients Why pulled it, like, up here. Changing color. Yeah, give me the link. Yeah, here you that go. That just uh, looks. Is there an egg? Foul. There? Is that- By the way, I could smell this when we walked in on the morning. Like the whole oh. building smells like Arby's Meat Mountain. It's so <laughs> much meat. <laughs> meat Mountain. So we had to find a here. It does oh not look God. like that. We had to find a no. special location. <laughs> this does not serve that every Arby's. No. <laughs> Apparently, they smoked their thirteen, uh, their brisket for thirteen hours. They fooled me. They could have just put diarrhea on here. And I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't tell the difference. So why? I don't understand why it has to be a special Arby's because only the ones that are tra- trained to make it. <laughs> right, right. It's a special. Uh, that's right. It needs special training. Or, and I, I should say, when Zach came in, he he said when he went and ordered it today, uh, when he asked for it, they laughed at him. Why? They just it's laughed on their menu. Him. Why did they laugh at you? They laughed at me. They're like, oh man, this is gonna hold up our line. Like, oh my oh, god. Don't, oh, don't sell it then. I, I have a question. How much does it cost? Uh, for two sandwiches, it was $21. That's a lot. It's not that, that bad. Dude, that, dude that's calories for like, I don't know. That's a lot of calories. Right? That's probably your calories for the for two days. That yeah. You, like a human would need. So cheers. What's going so, on with the collars? It's like tie dye burger. It's, it's art. It's because the roast beef is like part of his gray, and that's why I'm like, I just don't understand. It just looks so repulsive. You don't like gray beef? <laughs> I don't eat beef. I haven't eaten beef gray since with like grade. a little bit of green and so some really burgundy. Also, so it's le- gonna be all in his beard. Mm-hmm. Oh, Put some horsey God. sauce on that. It's the best part. Yeah, crack me up. So let me give you the background here. Zach, the sound lad, was talking about how Try he loves Arby's. Sorry. <laughs> what can I do? It's just... No, uh, no, no, it's just so gross. <laughs> you can continue. So... Great. So we're like, let's, gross. like... And he loves horsey sauce, especially. I do, too. Yeah, one. Well, can you crack me open one of those? Will, will you consume one? Can we talk about how you're supposed to open packets? How do you oh. open packets? I mean, I just crack the fucking... I just crack it. I like to... If you, really if you pinch the corner, because what Chelsea does is she'll just like tear it like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what you do. Out, it just gets all over the sock. Right. But, but you have to. You have so to, what are you supposed to so do? You do it off. This is my strategy. If you grab it kind of like right where the corner's sticking out a little bit, you can just oh. tear the corner off. You're too smart. And look at that. You know, it, just, it just comes out. We've been together for like over eight mountain. years. Every single time where some he gets, he says this to me every single time, <laughs> I haven't changed my ways. <laughs> so. It's genius, but I don't know that I will do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because when you're hungry, you just get right. it open. It's like, I'm you don't not going to You guys don't want a bite of this? Oh, no. no. I don't eat. I, I don't I eat mean, mountains. I think chicken, I, only, chicken I don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 it's so gross. 
So, the horsey sauce really brings it together. Oh, <laughs> anyway, God. The, the backstory is that Zach was pretty much our garbage disposal. The man could eat anything. <laughs> we brought the meat mountains in. <laughs> and Zach, what was your experience? Because I, I was surprised. <clears throat> Go ahead, Zach. Tell the story. Well, I, I ate it, you know, and... The whole thing? I, on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, ate the, I ate the whole thing. Are and, you kidding me? Uh, Where did that come from? Wait, when, was that today? <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> no this was uh, <laughs> months ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I ate it, and it just killed my fucking stomach. Yeah. Like, like I did not shit right for like a week. Yeah. I, was, I mean, even if you, like, I think any meat in this quantity <laughs> would probably, you know, what do they call it, the meat sweats? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? I had, the, I had that hardcore. There's the, eight types of meat in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my god! So yeah. you got anyway, Ila, you host. I'll eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't support this behavior. <laughs> host. Host. On the website, I, I noticed it silence. says You're it says be changing two diapers. It says <laughs> nutritional yeah. info, but um, if you go to their nutritional info, uh, oh. they don't actually list it. Uh, they're they're hiding it. Because I want to know how many calories. Yeah. It, well, it, it's, yeah. I really want to know the calories. I followed you the don't link because I wanted to know, and it's it, <laughs> they don't tell you. I would guess it's like five thousand. It just like so basically, all you just need charts. to look at like five or eight sandwiches and add them up. Wait, Meat Mountain's not even on here. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not listed. Mm. Oh wow. What are you doing, so, Arby's? That's it. Not great. It's the Meat Mountain. Not it a good sign. It destroyed Zach. Zach could not reach the summit of Meat Mountain. Yeah. This is not a good use of money. <laughs> you should spread it out over two, a couple of beef and cheddars. I still love my horsey sauce, though. Yeah, horsey <laughs> sauce is the best. So, <laughs> I, I'm undefeated, though. I will say that. I reached the summit. Mm -hmm. I looked down. I took a diarrhea on it. And I, <laughs> and wait, I wait. descended. Last time that you ate one of these, Ethan, it triggered you. went vegan for a month. <laughs> you actually yeah. you ate one of these before? That's true. Yeah, yeah I, I went one, I he ate right one I and it literally triggered you to go vegan. I went vegan for a month. Because of how bad it is. Literally, this was the up. last meat I ate. And now look where I'm, I'm right back where I started. The, it, putting the bread on this is a joke. Like, why even bother? Like, it's just the <laughs> yeah, meat ratio is so high. It's, I yeah, think exactly. it's just so that your so you don't like be it. less. Right. Me? Yeah, you don't exactly see this I woman understand. Yeah. Kind of like putting napkins on yeah. top of it and bottom of the meat to bread ratio I, is off. I, like it's I don't not think the bread is helping you. It does. I think you need a shower <laughs> after this. That's true, but <laughs> yeah. it would be even worse. Hey, does, does it come with wet wipes? <laughs> no, no wet wipes. No. Yeah, this is something that should come with wet wipes. So I've pretty much eaten like half of this. You know, I'm I've taken a couple of bites. I just I know it's gonna happen if I take too many more bites. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this with me though. You gonna take it home? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. This might take a couple of days to get through. So, oh my gosh! Gross. That that is the yeah. Please remove that. I mean, please one one more bite before oh, you take it. So bad. Take a big one. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's a foul. But this I'm makes me think so that maybe I don't have my sense of smell back yet. Well, I'm putting my pocket. Oh. Because I didn't have any smell, but I really don't smell. What are you doing? Oh my god, it doesn't no. fit. Like Napoleon Dynamite? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no way no, it fits William. in a pocket. Bro, you're like putting tater tots in your <laughs> fanny pack. <laughs> Alright. You put my wallet. <laughs> oh, dude. oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> we gotta send you to like a petting zoo with a meat mountain in your pocket or something. <laughs> Just see Tiger, how everyone reacts. Tiger King Zoo? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Did you... Now, speaking of... You know, you know how the tiger attacked... Uh, the homeboy, what, what's his name? I forgot. His arm, you mean? The, on the show? Yeah, that was confusing. Tiger the whole show, they like refer to her, but then you learn after the fact that it, it's he. During Tiger King? Sorry. Who? Oh. <laughs> the one who got the arm bitten off. Is that what you're talking about? It's Saf. Is his name. I was Saf. referring to the main guy. Exotic Joe, yeah. when he went in the cage and he got attacked, remember? Yeah. Do you think somebody put something on his shoe? Like he... Oh, like, he like sardine or what was yeah, that? Yeah, sardine oil. Fish oil. Because they were just tired of him and wanted him to get smacked. You, they wanted him okay, to die. I'm going to go on a limb. Is like if you deal with tigers every day, like you're going to have an experience where they just come Bound to happen. Yeah. Mm. Like I, Didn't he claim that was the only time ever that like something had happened like he i think he said something stupid like that where that was like, i don't believe I don't half believe the stuff it. that guy was saying yeah you don't like, believe joe exotic <laughs> I mean, the thing is that show everyone on that show was guilty yes except yes. for maybe like a couple of the the people that were actual like animal caretakers or veterinarians right. who right. genuinely were there to just care for them yeah and even they were still somewhat complicit because they knew that these animals were being abused yeah 
And they didn't go, you know, do it. They were like, well, I got to at least help them. But it's like, I feel like nobody on that show. No was one was in this. Like, no, no, no. Everyone no, no. was in this. Yeah. Like, it's just. You know, except Netflix, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, and it's. I mean, we watched too, every. You know, we watched so. it over what? A couple of days, yeah. Yeah, I think I was ready to watch in a whole day, and William made me stop. I was yeah. like, I can't do this all in one sitting. Like, it was oh, too I much. I could do it in one sitting. It was Good. fascinating because yeah. you yeah, just would I, go. I did like this it. is the most like crazy. No. No, right. this is the crazy. Yeah, just and then that homeboy shows up from Las Vegas and steals his Dude, business. Dude, it's so weird. And it's like, yeah. how much of it is you know? And the way from he treated TV, his like wife or, like, like, or like, girlfriend. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like when you you're getting shit. You know how it is. Like, like when you're making content. You know, like they're trying to tell <laughs> a story. So it's like, who knows what they're omitting and what they're like? Focusing yes, of course, on, of course. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it builds a stronger picture in people's heads. You know, because yeah. maybe somebody was speculating, but they just show the part where they like say it. Right? right. You lose the speculation, and so you think they take it more seriously. Than they're they do. all crazy, and they should all be in jail. Can you tell me what TikTok was erased of yours? Because I only saw this. Tweet. They put it back. Mm. It was me. <laughs> I, I uh, <laughs> made oh. it look like I kicked my cat. <laughs> oh. So like I'm dancing, like walking with some weird music, and then I like kick. And then my cat, I replaced him with a black T-shirt, mm. uh. and then you see me kick the T-shirt, and like it's super hot. You know? oh. <laughs> it's like the joke where you put like your hamster. I think Filthy Frank does. You put the hamster in the sock, and then you like cut mm. and yeah. you smash it against the wall. It's like <laughs> they got you. It's clearly fake. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're restored. And justice <laughs> was provided. It took a bit of fighting. You yeah. are pretty active on TikTok. I don't really. I feel like mm. a bit of a boomer when it comes to <laughs> TikTok. What me is too. going on there? We they they want more like science stuff, and so they're they're having us make you're in you're in touch with tiktok yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, so we have an cool. obligation to make like 40 tiktoks i'm like halfway done and i have like a like a week and a half left to finish them wow, wow. there's like a couple of other uh, how's it other... going I, it's not good. great i don't really understand not great. It. like <laughs> not it's hard great. to tell like what'll Why? do well it seems like you're getting good engagement or maybe yeah. those are just the ones they show you yeah, yeah but you don't, don't get know. to see the behind the scenes where he's uh, like banging my head against the wall yeah. trying to figure out because it's like 40 it, science TikTok. yeah because they like i want them to be good and i want them to like you know be like interesting or educational, but the problem is like when you sort of try to make something educational, it takes a lot of work, and yeah. nobody watches. And that. then you gotta make mm. forty of them, <laughs> right? And so it's like, yeah. how do you, you know, you have to like demonstrate something, but like, I, and I what got, sells on right. TikTok? Not oh, yeah. you're gonna dance. I could. I was thinking she wants. Why not that. that face? Yeah. How do you make dancing scientific? He's not young and in a bikini. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't. I don't have to post educational ones, but then I still have to fulfill those later. Yeah. So it's like I can like the cat kicking uh, one isn't a science project. So you that need to do just, forty science. Yeah. So mm. I've done a bunch. That's of cool though. That the, the that's that's a nice gig. They're easy to do the ones with the cat because. He's just yeah. entertaining and cute. So. <clears throat> it's it's just like, you know, with all the other stuff going on, like moving, plus having mm -hmm. to make normal videos too, which I've not been doing a good job. Why don't you just copy all the other science <laughs> ones? That's, I could do that. But even then, like, even they put a lot of work into it. <laughs> you, it's not easy to copy. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, that's you fucked know, up. Gotta, like, you know, buy a bunch of stuff and like prep it. And then, like, At least TikTok is trying to get some science on Actually, there. I agree. Well, that's it. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. Because I always wonder, how does anyone even make money from this? How is this worth anyone's time? I, I don't think you do. Like, you have to figure it out externally. Uh, right, a bunch right. of you know kids are finding success, and then there's nothing there, and they're just like, "What do I do? Uh, right, go to YouTube or go somewhere else?" Mm -hmm. I see. I think they have live streaming, and people can pay you; they can donate while you're streaming. Oh, but I don't know. Okay, it's, there's a there, TikTok is interesting though. Like at first, I would wrote it off completely, mm -hmm. but there's actually a lot of weird, strange, interesting stuff on there. Yeah, there's for example a whole a genre of old people, which fascinates yeah. me because these are the type of people. That I assume barely know how to use email, yet right. they're like yeah. blasting right. through TikTok. Right. Yeah, I'm not a fan of TikTok, so I'm definitely in that. Yeah, I think a I lot just, of the I'm people that I'm not a fan of too much social media. Like I'd really try to limit social media. I don't need to be on. And then I'm a teacher, so every time if I have anything, I just get kids requesting me over and over. So I would limit. I know. Oh, who's that's weird. Me, she spends yeah. like yeah. three to four hours a day on TikTok, like just. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's crazy. It's like, very popular. It's, it's like psychologically, like almost addicting. Because you can, like, a lot of times what will happen is someone will send the TikTok. And then when you open the app, it'll mm -hmm. open, like, it'll just load a TikTok. It just TikTok. goes forever. It curates and, yeah. and then you have to, like, go you. back and click the link again. And then it'll load the TikTok they sent you. But then you, like, once you watch that, you sort of, like, oh, what's the next one? And then you're like, oh, God, you're back in that. <laughs> the platform like, is yeah. really it addictive. What you it like, is. watch and what you skip. And then it curates, a, like, a yeah. really. Right. So when he was trying to do some, like, research on it it was like oh my gosh what i was like glance I'm like what are you looking at and 
and mm. like, oh, this is TikTok. Oh, he's looking at like 13 year old. And I'm like, this looks really fun. Honestly, man, it's it's terrifying. That stuff terrifies me. Like I have family friends who have kind of gone down that rabbit hole a little bit. Oh, TikTok, not TikTok, but you can see like the social media. I don't I don't know why people don't talk more about like the damage that I think a lot of the social media causes. Like and sort of like recognizing the pattern. Like if you find you know someone on TikTok who has success, you know, like who's attractive in a bikini, like dancing around, you go click on the profile and go all the way down to the bottom Mm -hmm. and look at where they started and sort of the progression that led them to that point. And what like I have a screenshot on my phone of this one girl who has like you know normal TikTok, normal TikTok, and they each have like a couple hundred, couple thousand views, and there's one with three hundred thousand views. And it's like, what do you think is the difference between them? And like, what is she learning? And what's the feedback that tells you, oh? This is what I need to do yeah. to get more engagement. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, like you get nothing out of it. You just feel like better about yourself because you right. have more likes and comments and mm-hmm. plays and stuff. But then it's like you do a normal one and it doesn't do well and you, so you feel, feel bad really about bad. yourself. Like you're, it's a trap. It's, it's literally a trap. Like you get emails, nothing and you're setting exactly. yourself up just to feel bad about yourself. Yeah. And it's just. They all start out normal and it's like, oh, dancing yeah. or this or that. And then it turns into bikinis. Mm-hmm. You know, on the beach I at the pool. I see so many with bikinis lately. Mm-hmm. And it is. It's He showed me because I was like, this is just so sad. And I mean, I'm looking at I'm like, these are like little, little kids. Yeah. I don't even go on TikTok, but we got a couple of requests, like because of Teddy Fresh. Sometimes mm-hmm. they'll contact us like, hey, do you want to send us stuff? Like mm-hmm. the influencer the will TikTok wear it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I check the profile and it's like just a girl in a bikini. Right. And it's like, well, she's I, not even going to wear <laughs> it. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. She's going to like make a little hat out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I yeah, all the really popular people, like I I scroll the Instagram Discover page, mm-hmm. which I find interesting because there's all this weird, like fucking weird shit, dude. Really? Like Turkish chefs, really, it's awesome shit. Like Greek under stuff? No, like or? these crazy like Guy Fieri of Turkey. Like they mm-hmm. take a. Uh, they take like ball sacks of sheep and stuff it with rice, bro. Really? And it just looks so fucked up. <laughs> but bizarre. they love it. They eat that shit, man. <laughs> like, are they and, creating uh, it just for like the? No, they love it. It's like a cuisine. Stuff, yeah. 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 yeah, but there's a lot of good content, is what I mean to say. But every once in a while, the tick, the really popular TikToks will bleed into my Discover page, and that's right. how I know the really popular ones. Like they're stolen and reposted. <laughs> but what, they're like uh, much, the really popular TikTokers are getting like 50 million views. Yeah. Her fucking yeah. dance video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're and a lot of them are like not even 18. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, What's no, that? and as a teacher, the kids, <clears throat> that's like the big it, so before it was called TikTok, it was called something else. Um, right. It was like a video. I can't. Did you see oh, the But it, it, yeah, TikTok, they were bought out by so you know they're owned oh, by China. Yeah, I <laughs> that's know. fucking oh, crazy. I can't think of it. I'll, it'll come to me. Oh, musically, that's what yeah. it was. Oh, it was musically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how it works. They sync the singing. It's yeah. yeah. So you yeah. can and, you can open, you can record in the app, and you can have a song play while you record, and so you can like yeah. record and then do the thing, or you could have while listening clips. to the audio as it's playing in the recording. If that makes mm-hmm. any sense, it's automatically synchronized, and then uh, you can like trim it. And mm-hmm. post it, and it could mm-hmm. be songs, movie clips, TV shows, because like, a lot of people would, you know, mimic scenes that right. they liked and you know popular yeah. scenes. Right. The or you can add the music in after the fact. Mm-hmm. I wish I had that. But uh, the kids love it. Yeah, I, I don't. I, the kids I don't love know it how though. It works. I mean, yeah. fifth graders. That is <laughs> the cool thing is to make TikTok. So I remember just like all the little dances on there, and they would like want to come in before school, and if it, we were having fun Friday, they, they're just TikToking. They're filming, wow. filming and filming and filming and filming. <laughs> And it's, it's a kids would go, oh yeah, mine got taken down. Someone reported me. I just made a new one. Isn't it for what? <laughs> Isn't it just whatever? I think people can report you for a lot of things, maybe probably like cyberbullying, things like that. But also inappropriate if like you're too young oh and posting my things God. that are not. My my friend Nigel has is doing the same thing too. Where he's making forty of them, and I always ask him because he's a chemist. And I always ask him to make meth because I know he knows how to do it. Mm. And I left that comment on the TikTok gone. Your comment gone. My comment gone. I said, wow. next next project, can you show us how to make math? And they j- it was just wiped. Like, no report or anything. I just couldn't see the yeah. comment there. Interesting. Like, China doesn't fuck around. Uh-uh. Those motherfuckers know how to censor shit. like, that comment would have lived anywhere, like, on YouTube mm. or, oh, yeah. or Twitter right. or anything. Like, it wasn't that. I mean, it's stupid, but it's yeah. not, like, bad. And so I was very surprised. I'm impressed with their, how good they are at censoring. Yeah. It just. Yeah. Oof. So that's, the, but the kids, though, they get deleted. 
And they just make a new account. Yeah. It kind of scares me that the kids are using this, like, platform that blasts them out publicly. Did you see the the video, the live stream of the kid putting his cat in the microwave? (gasps) He actually did that? Didn't microwave the cat, but, like, he put his cat in the microwave. He's on, Uh he was, like, on Twitch. The account's, like, deleted immediately. Mm. Um, But he, like, puts the cat in the microwave, and he's, like, you can see him looking at the phone at, like, the Twitch chat. And then he, like, you know, is just joking. But he's, like, maybe eight. And then he, like, puts his phone in the microwave and runs the thing, and then you just see the screen go, like, I don't know if that was fake, because I think that the the microwave should have blocked the phone's reception, so I don't really know. Mm. But he just, it looks kind of real. I don't know. Well, if you microwave a phone, there would be some kind of reaction, no? Yeah, it would would fry the phone. Yeah. But it would also, it would also, like, uh, the, the microwave uses the same frequency as your phone, kind of, like the 2.4 gigahertz. The reason Should we try it? <laughs> well, you can, yeah, I mean, your phone basically will stop. It won't work unless you're, the cell network might work. So if he was on the cell network, I don't know exactly, but like, this is like fun facts. Like the reason Wi-Fi is because of Wi-Fi, like the frequency it's on is because of microwaves. But what does that have to do with microwaving a phone? Because the microwave, if you're on Wi-Fi, it's commonly 2.4 gigahertz. Mm-hmm. And so a microwave is 2.4 gigahertz, like the frequency on the inside. Mm-hmm. And so when you put the phone in there, the microwave is designed to keep that radiation inside of the microwave. Like that's what like the mm-hmm. little mesh screen on the front is for. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if the phone is on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, it shouldn't be able to like escape the microwave. Like it'll just block the so Wi-Fi connection. So the phone shouldn't fry? No, the phone will still fry. No, but he was But the streaming. live stream. He was calling. He was live streaming. Oh, he was live streaming so, the phone in yeah. the microwave? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's so, kind of interesting. I mean, it, it's probably, you know, there's other stuff too. So it could have just ah. been like a you know, cell network or like the 5.8 gigahertz. That's a whatever. good experiment. Yeah. For so, an eight-year-old. But that's, but I'm just saying like in general, like you see this kid on Twitch who's, you know, like a kid. And then he's like, the, the chat is like, do the thing, don't do the yes. thing. And then he's just like, oh, Aww. I can, you know, I have an audience, people yeah. are watching me. <laughs> That's Put terrifying. my phone in the microwave, put my cat, like he literally puts his cat in the microwave. That's horrific. Yeah. Like, but I don't know. I'm very worried. We have a one-year-old son and we grew up, I mean, we're a little bit apart, yeah. but I think close, close enough. Close yeah. like, enough. I, I never saw even a smartphone until like my last year of, of college. Right. The smartphones didn't right. even exist. And so, that wasn't part of my upbringing at all, but Theodore yeah, they came out in high school for us. So yeah, I didn't. Fun. I didn't have anything until I think after college or maybe the end of college. I just never bought it. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. were also yeah. really like last mm-hmm. people to buy it. You know, in our right. group, I was like, whatever, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. I, I, I don't need to, to check my email. Well, it was also right. really you know, expensive like, okay, at that point. Yeah. I remember like the inter- like the friends I had. It's like, oh my gosh, don't click on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> we right. bought some really. Uh, we bought like knockoff phones knock-off. from China. Yeah, for like two hundred a pop. <laughs> back then or recently? Yeah. No, no, back no, then. no, back then. That was our first one. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I had, I think I was like a flip. Well, I had the Nokia back and I had to share with my brother and all that, you know, just. But yeah. there, he, I mean, it's just, it's, I don't even know how to relate to Theodore. I, it really scares me because I personally have so many problems with social media. Like it affects me as an adult. Mm, right. So it's bad. What mm-hmm. is it going to be like for him? And what am I supposed to do as a parent? You know, like. How can you even avoid? You can't avoid it, you and I don't even know what it. to tell him. But just like, yeah. I think you just got to make sure that you got to educate, and you have to. You can't tell give me what free to rain. do. It's don't give free me. rain. Don't give there free rain. There has to be restrictions and limitations. Think... There has to be like, if you get these things done, you can get time. If you didn't get it done, those are your responsibilities. You don't. No Instagram. I have so many parents like I can't. I don't know how to get them off the phone or off. Take it away. I think they need to have like, like, mm, better get tools safe, care, that like restrict their bandwidth. You so it's not necessarily it, blocking you know? sites. It just makes it so like it's very. That's slow what's to up because you don't have to fight and struggle with the phone. You just say because if the kids like I got to do my home. It's like, okay, cool. You have basically dial up speeds so or like you can do the thing you need to do, but you can't watch a video. You can't mm, download one. Video. That's what's mm-hmm. up. Like that. And then you yeah. have it. But like if you really want to buffer a YouTube video, you can let it sit for you know <laughs> an hour. And, like, <laughs> and I think also yeah. the big thing is just being involved and like talking about it. Yeah, that's don't just I, let them yeah. isolate in their room. It's like talk about like, oh, what are you watching? What's funny? Like, and you talk to them about it and make it so you're not like, oh, kids, I can't keep up with you. And it's just I can't. I'm not gonna. It's like no. You need to stay. You need to stay involved. You mm. need to know what's relevant. I watch shows that I hear the kids t- w- like talking about so that I know. Like mm. I remember when you know 13 Reasons Why I came out or uh, Riverdale I watched them so I knew yeah, what they I, were talking about I know about. for a fact that they just do stuff underneath it that you have like no they idea. Will. like it's impossible to catch all this stuff but you know, don't, no think, don't like bury your head in the yes. sand yeah. Right. Yeah. I think my only strategy really is just to 
stay involved. You have to give them as much uh, self confidence mm-hmm. and self worth as you can as a parent. And talk and to hopefully, them yeah. all the time when they come home. And if they say like, "What did you do at school?" Nothing. It's like, don't give me that. You're gonna talk to me, or else mm-hmm. you don't get to go right. do mm-hmm. you. You want to play Warzone? <laughs> then he, so we're gonna have a conversation. Oh have yeah, together. Like, oh um, yeah. I don't want to talk. The things. <laughs> but it's you have to teach those skills too, because that's another thing. Is like it's harder for kids to have conversations and to be able to actually like engage oh, like yeah, this. Yeah. The, the attention yep. span is just gone. So have conversations, you hear sit that, down Theodore? and have meals. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> it's super important. I mean, but parents, for, and, and everyone's busy, so it's hard, but trying to, yeah. to sit down and have dinner together, that's a huge impact, positive impact. And talking about, and them hearing about your day too. I mean, don't tell them about like scary things like bills and stuff like that. <laughs> I can speak to that was not good as a kid to hear that. But just... <laughs> You need to be a real person and not just right. like, oh, it's just mom and dad. And I think people talk. use it to babysit too. So it's almost like it mm-hmm. becomes convenient for parents. And, and there has like, to be limitations. Yeah. You can't have the phone all day. You don't right. need your Xbox all day. You don't need your computer all day. There has I think, to be I, limitations. I think the Xbox is probably better than social media though. But still needs yeah. to be limitations. You shouldn't yeah. be able to do six hours of gaming. I feel like social did. media has a deeper implication <laughs> than just being a gamer. Dude, I used to game for like fifteen hours a day. That's oh. epic. Though. EverQuest. Being on Instagram and TikTok I, fifteen hours. I that's, played. That is just like, a waste of yeah. life. Yeah. We'd play outside. We'd play. You know. We'd I did play that. With neighbors. I did all that. Do a imaginary I'll, I'll, play. I, Leave I'll, me alone, mom. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. Looking back, even now, I don't even like regret that time. Those were magical, yeah. beautiful memories. Yeah. I, that I forged online with my friends. <laughs> I wouldn't have had the attention span to do something for 15 hours straight. Okay, what, that's because you're not a gamer. Yeah. When, yeah, when I when not. I play games, when I do my gamer thing, it's like I it's can't. with friends. Yes. You're like talking online. Like I won't play you're the game. You're coordinating. By you're yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah. It's about teamwork. We're going random. Camaraderie. <laughs> We're making okay, so you can I learned that cool words. A portion of your day, but you don't get to do that for the majority. You're I'm not sorry. even my mom. You have no authority. Are you, what are you playing right now? Are you playing anything right now? <laughs> so, okay, actually, he also you know grew up where he was not allowed to play video games, not allowed to watch TV, not allowed to Look how it oh, turned really? out. Yeah, I'm, I'm it didn't work. Up. It yeah. didn't work. <laughs> so, he, uh, he was definitely. I've, I've played like 250 Warzone games. <laughs> what the fuck? Call of Duty. Warzone is a first person shooter. Yeah, it's Warzone. like, it's like uh, <laughs> Fortnite. It's like any of the other ones. It's like the same thing. See, I, <laughs> I used to be military. hardcore into Counter Strike and, f- yeah. and Team Fortress Classic, but I lost interest in first person shooters because I can't compete with all these little fucking 13 year olds with the yeah. reflex yeah. of like a. Hours a day right, that's on true. It. But, no, but no, but I wasn't playing those games. That gets back to what I'm saying. I played like 250 games. Just the other day, I won a game. Your first game. Yeah. But it's like, and it was amazing. And he screamed. But like, I don't, yeah, I did. I, and sorry, scared you me. And the cat. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, I was asleep and it was like, what's wrong? Is it, because he's, it wasn't like a happy scream. It was a terrible. It was a scream. <laughs> but like, that's okay, because it's just Congratulations. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. I appreciate uh, what you've done. I don't. I do. Some don't, but I do. I don't really care. Well, because <laughs> he you. has to edit, <laughs> he has care. to film, and we have other th- responsibilities that he's ignoring to play. No, oh, but, God. but. Let the man. Let the man. Let me finish my thought. (laughs) You know, it's not about the destination, right? It's about the journey and the absolutely. Uh, That's what it's about. Yeah. And to answer your question, you said, "What am I playing?" Yeah. Ooh, we. This is weird, but I'm like so deep into Diablo three. Really? I started playing Diablo three when it came out, and I played the fuck out of it. And now, it's like the game is like dead, dead, dead. And they have different seasons. Where you try to, you a character restarts at that beginning of mm-hmm. every new season, and then your character just disappears forever. So I've been grinding deep, boy. Yeah. This season, and I'm like number two hundred in the world. I can hear them laughing. <laughs> number two hundred, because I always tell them because there's only like two hundred players. It sounds like no, there. Well, no, there's like there's know thousands. What okay. Like. I'm number two hundred in the world. Wait, is it a fighting game? Is it Give a high dungeon five. crawler? Okay, cool. I don't know what this game is, but what do you? Do? I got to sanitize now. Do you do? <laughs> Do you do puzzles? It's a do do dungeon do? crawler. 
<laughs> Elaborate. Elaborate. So I play <laughs> my character. Like half the conversation. No, there's like, no dragons. Like okay, let me put it. You gotta start. From let the me put it start, this way. Explain what a I am a is. fucking demon hunter. <laughs> if you don't know what a demon hunter is, I'm a badass mother with a bu- with projectile weapons mother. that goes into the depths of hell to, to hunt down the demons that are invading like this earth. Is it a storyline game? Who cares yeah, about a story the story? Okay. There's yeah. demons that need hunting. But but ultimately, I'm just I I what I do. <laughs> He's got weapons and they level up. What I do is I sit for hours every night when Does everyone's. Does he scream? No. no. No, there's shit. No. The excitement is gone. <laughs> okay. What I do is I, when yeah, everyone goes. It's like the South Park thing? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I put on like the radio. <laughs> it's really just my time to relax. Everyone's asleep. Relax. And they stay up all, all night and then. Yeah, I can't. Can sleep, I just but... talk about my hobby? <laughs> So all the lights are off, and everyone's sleeping, and I'm just sitting there, and you play the same dungeon. Like, I've run through the same dungeon, like, probably 10,000 times. What's your Why? actions for me? Is that a metric in Diablo? No, it's not, but it's probably, like, five. What's your paragon level? Paragon level is 1,200. Oh, that's a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm level 1,200. Wow. Is that a lot? It's all right. <laughs> Dan doesn't know. Dan has a professional Diablo 3 player. What did he say when you told him about my progress? He, he actually said he was impressed. Nice. Yeah. For, it's for, so good. <laughs> for a boomer. You know, I had a friend right for a in high school. Yeah, I'm ranked like, 200 in the world. Uh, he, he had a what bunch about of a Zoomer? bots. Like He had a bunch of licenses that he got somehow. I don't really know. I, I don't remember it being completely legit or he bought them on some weird marketplace. And he was running like 10 copies of Diablo on his computer. And it was all, oh, it was I know all why like, he was, doing he was that. farming stuff and selling it. Yeah, back in the day, yeah, they had an auction God. house. It ruined the whole fucking game. Yeah. Well, they had an auction house <laughs> where you would not. sell items for real money. Yeah. It was just, it was just horrible. Yeah. Well, he, he helped with well, it. Well, he, he, uh, <laughs> your friend he made, made some, some money. real money, too. Then he yeah. ended up selling the whole, like, botting kit to somebody for, like, a reasonable, for, for a kid in high school. Like, That's awesome. Like, a couple hundred, a couple thousand That's dollars. That's pretty epic. Yeah, that is pretty epic. But. It's like the new Bitcoin. I Skater. That's my gaming That's pretty gamer. How, what's brother. the longest you played in a, at one sitting? Oh, probably less than an hour. It's <laughs> not very gamer. Really. <laughs> I just don't have the attention span. Like I can sit and read a book for ha- an entire day, but I. Uh, so game... who says that's better than yeah, gaming? So... Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. seriously. Yeah. You know, back before video games existed, people would sit there all day on the books, and they would be like, "You yeah. don't don't read all day. Go Do outside. Something with Go your life. play with a stick." It's the same. It had the same exact <laughs> connotation. I think that as a kid, I had a. I just had a hard time doing anything for too long. Like, as an adult, I can read. As a kid, I couldn't read all. You read things. fiction or nonfiction? Both. She You're gonna, you would like really murder, waste your time reading fiction? <laughs> I read both. That's not very productive. Boy, I love historical fiction. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I love reading. <laughs> but I, as a kid, I just couldn't do anything for more than an hour. It Are was there really pictures difficult. in the books? No. Do you color inside or no color in? No. Wow. I tried to buy him some books that I thought you, he you would like. You pay money for these? <laughs> a lot of money. I spend a lot of money on books every year. And I books don't are like... expensive, eh? They are. And then they put them on the Kindle, and you'd expect them to be cheaper, but they're not. They're not, and I can't do the Kindle. It just it doesn't Why? work for me. I like it. It doesn't feel the same. It like, looks I really can't get past Too close to it. video games. Mm. No, it's not. I it's think just, it might be racist. I like seeing how far games. I like am, and I like the feel of it, and I like the smell of books. I'm, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite book ever? My ba- favorite series is the Harry Potter series. Yeah. Like, I, if I had to pick a book. How do you feel I about her being a... Uh, Chelsea probably has no idea. Her oh, are you aware a... that... What's yes, her name? The author? Oh, you are? Okay. What's, the, what's her name? J.K. J.K. Bowling. Yeah, J.K. Bowling. Smoking about bowling. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> is there an air horn? Uh, <laughs> there is, actually. Well, we have a better thing. No, we have it. <laughs> That's not better. That's very rude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have that. Right? Um, are you aware that she uh, does not like trans people? I am aware. So I've seen a bunch of stuff recently. Um, Actually, I don't about, know. Uh, yeah, she she basically made like, a statement that was really really stupid. Yeah. Can you pull up the? Just can you pull points. that up? Let's look so, over it. Yeah, like, let's and dig then into she this. She hasn't really done much to kind of rectify the situation, and then all the cast members, of course, are like. Whoa. We want mm-hmm. nothing to do with this statement. We do not agree. Yeah. We do not, you know. So that's been interesting. That I was shocked that she didn't come out immediately and try to, you know. Actually, she doubled down. I think she really yeah, believes. But, yeah, I, but I mean, I, so I mean, I thought she was yeah. going to do the opposite, and instead nah. she just came out saying, "No, you guys are understanding." And this then, is the guy, by the way. I'm sorry, the Turkish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's the legend. The, 
the what the fuck Whoa, is this video? We got this after effects. <laughs> no, this this is this guy's like mega famous and he just goes like all out. I'm trying to find a good. Wow. This is his TikTok. I've never watched him on TikTok. I don't think it's as good as in, on his, as on Instagram because it's shorter. Yeah, it's a lot of views. No, this guy is like yeah, he's famous. These vi- these videos are not as good because he's 14 million. Wow. Okay, let's let's have you're a looking, look. You're just looking at the thumbnails. How can I you say know, that? I could tell they put the epic thing in the <laughs> thumbnail. Are you gonna make a pizza <laughs> oven? Ding ding. I have not. Let's see. You never know where it's going with this oh, guy. I saw the ladybug pizza oven looking thing. Yay! <laughs> He's called CZN, which this is kind is of kind of bizarre. Yeah, in the best way. <laughs> look! He, look how creepily he's staring. He, like, that's he's his staring, thing. Staring, but you can't. Like, how does he do it? That's his thing. And sometimes he, he will smiles. not be smiling, and then everyone's like, "Is he okay?" Yeah, just like, <laughs> cutting vegetables and chops his finger. <laughs> so, do you think he does all this work, or in between the cuts, you just got all these minions coming and do it? He's probably doing it. It looks like he's doing it. I think. That's what? Epic. That was a lot of fire. Whoa, did you see that spin move with the knife? It was epic. That was dangerous. Yeah. What is he putting the meat in? Is it's just a big egg? ass uh, lamb leg. He looks like he put it in sand. Though. That was kind of gross. That's one of the techniques they use. No, they use these techniques. No, but they do use sand. No, but it looks like he stuck the meat directly on this. They do that, but it's not sand. It's like some kind of material that like... Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. They do all kinds of weird shit in Turkish cuisine, bro. TikTok is weird. This I don't like his TikTok. You gotta go to Instagram. Well, is there not mu- is there music normal? Yeah, there's. Uh, usually it's just music. This very like. Yeah, a lot of times though. But again, I don't have the right. I'm I'm not the person to ask because I don't. Did you? I you, really limit social media because of like what you're saying, like the negativity yeah, that the I negativity. saw growing up. I was like, I don't want to be that kind of person boy. that's so obsessed. So I really limit social media. I think sometimes I take a break and I really but, feel better. I think I can do for one. Yeah, I, I, I thought about about going timer. on like a, yeah. like a cabin trip where we have a metal box and everyone sticks their phone in it. And like, oh my god, we time. should do that. And you have like a Nokia. You get like an uh, old Nokia that just has like calls and texts, yeah. and that's like the phone that if you need to call somebody for like a mer- yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. I set a limit for like 20 minutes for all social media combined a day. I feel like I wouldn't really have to do it with and myself. Because that's the problem, right? <laughs> like, yeah. And then I realize it's just such a bad how you get your phone and you click on it without even thinking. Yes. And it's like any any it's moment, just gross. any moment where you have nothing to do. It's like you're just yeah. Like what am I always? Doing? Like, yeah. And, and it's definitely that's, a problem. Sometimes <laughs> I'll close it and then without thinking, I open it again. Uh huh. Yeah. Always. Yes. Yeah. Can I say that something? Me out. Can I admit something? Yeah. When Bo uh, Burnham was on the show, he said that he started peeing. I'm just, I can't look away from CZN. <laughs> he's making a giant hammer. Dude, that's, oh you see God. the problem, though? Like, that's the... Look, he's cutting the hammer with a fucking sword, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get you can't even eat that. <laughs> no. He throws it all out afterwards. As we after just, like, eating the meat. So, he, so <laughs> Bo said that he, he, start, he was so bad that he was peeing down, peeing down. Sitting down to pee so he could use his phone. And I was like, that's weird. And then, but I do that now. Just because you can like more easily use the phone. Because I can continue what I'm doing. Right. So I sit down and tinkle. And I've always been so envious Ah. that like men could stand up and pee. Because I'm like, I have to, you have to worry about all the extra. Throwing away God's privilege. You have to protect your privilege. Well, to be honest, yeah, (laughs) my penis privilege. It's a privilege to be able to pee. Yeah, because think about going to like a a fair and using a porta potty as a man. You experience versus a woman. But you don't sit, right? You squat. No, you squat, but you have to have strength to do that. You squat. And not I couldn't. All people I, do. I, I, I don't. <laughs> Fall in. You want me to squat? Either wants to like pin my penis back and make me squat <laughs> for, <laughs> to check my privilege. I feel like the action has been said. No, the way you react. Ela wants to. <laughs> He's throwing you under the bus right now. Ela wants to check my penis privilege. <laughs> pin my dick back. <laughs> yeah, she's sick. <laughs> Garbage. 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 <laughs> Well, um, how much have you spent on Roombas? <laughs> oh, uh, we spent, um, actually, it's kind of funny, because I bought, I ended up buying an actual Roomba, too, um, and, he's not and very I think happy I spent it. about the same amount of money on the actual Roomba mm. as I did on eight knockoff Roombas, mm. or seven knockoff <laughs> Roombas, or whatever. So, that was like $1,000, I think. Wow. Oh, that's not bad for eight yeah. Roombas? And they came in the course of, like, probably two or three days, and it was just, like, all these boxes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was It was paid for. It's a, it's a whole long story, but I didn't even pay for it. Someone else paid for it. Mm. But that's, like, it's, I don't even think I'm supposed to say what happened. Yeah, no, I don't think you're allowed to. Go ahead. 
No, I can't. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> it's. I'll tell you after. It's a whole long he got ordeal. Paid, so. Yeah, but anyway, somebody else day. paid for him. Okay. Yeah. But okay. he did buy an actual Roomba, and he... You don't like it? He doesn't. He yells at it all the time. Dude, it was like... Mm. I bought uh, Someone gave me a coupon, so I bought it much cheaper. And uh, it's still, like... It's very frustrating for how much money it costs. Brand new. It's, like, the nicest one they sell. Mm. They, like, self-empties and everything. And it's, like, how does it not... How is it not a little bit smarter than it yeah. is? Like, it'll just run it, over everything. It'll just get bound bound up on carpet. Really? Uh, yeah. And I I've just, heard like, wires. Like if you have like, like plugs and stuff, it'll just get caught yeah. up in that. See, I've heard good things about the room, but what year is it? What edition? Brand. brand it's the oh, this op, is 2020. It's, it is the nicest one that oh, they sell right now. That's yeah. a shame. And I don't like the look of it. It's sort of like one of those things where you, like, like, you can't have any cables on the floor. You can't have yes, anything. I, love the I mean, I don't really love the idea of a little robot skirting around the house. Yeah. You know, so tell actually tell them why you your first um, your beginning relationship with Roomba. When did you first get a Roomba for your mother? I bought one <laughs> off of an old website. Woot, do you remember Woot? Mm. No. It was what like, was they, the they sold one though? thing a day. Oh, I think I had to like clean. Was like, my my chore was vacuuming, and so I oh. saved up like a couple hundred bucks and <laughs> bought a Roomba for like it was like wow. one hundred fifty maybe two. Was she more. satisfied with the result of that? I think she was. Angry, but maybe also impressed yeah. <laughs> at my genius. And she used it. For, I mean, she had that for, for a like, long time. Probably ten years. Yeah, wow. they like yeah. recently died. Yeah, <laughs> had to change the batteries a bunch because they just kept yeah. going bad. Anytime that maintenance needed to be done on it, it was like even when he hadn't lived there for years. <laughs> William, it's acting <laughs> up. You need to come over and figure it out. He's like, yes, mom. But the new ones, they dock themselves. They yeah. charge they themselves. They empty themselves, too. I, I don't can... like it, though. I like the... There's two vacuum spaces. There's one in the base station, and there's one in the robot. So the robot does its vacuum thing. But you have thing. to empty the base. You have to, yeah, it comes with, like, a bag, and the bag will last you, like, so many... Well, you have like, to well, empty something. Yeah. I don't want to empty anything. <laughs> it's not self-emptying if I have to empty it. I think there's one... I want a fucking... I want a well that... <laughs> okay, if you want to learn about vacuums, up. there's this dude, every time I search this up, there's this guy on YouTube who does nothing but make videos about vacuum cleaners, and it is it is hilarious <laughs> just because of, like... The content? It, the content, but he's so serious, and it's actually, like, if it is the best resource. So... Did you use this resource before you purchased the yes, Roomba? I did. But he steered you wrong, clearly. No, I think that there's just like, there's not a whole lot of perfect solutions right now. You would just think for the but, amount of money you spend on it that like it would be a little bit better. But we have, hmm. like, the other vacuum we have, it's a, you know, it's, I think it's like a shark or something. It's a handheld one? Uh, the handheld one. I mean, it just works so much better. Dude, I love you, the handheld bro, one. Bro, that. Yeah. It's like the greatest. Wait, the the cordless vacuum? Yeah. The yeah. Cordless. Dude, those are fucking They're so awesome. Sick. Yeah. The bro, you remember as a kid? And it takes so me fun. no time. Like, and you have to drag like, this yes. big ass vacuum around. Yeah. Find a cord, yes. like a hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, and then my dad bought like the that janitorial the one that you wear as a backpack. And the you look like a ghost I forgot about those. You're like turning around, like banging into the walls. Like the walls about this high off the ground. I used to hate that. Because like it was like a, it was like a logistical nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I vacuum now... twice a day because we have a cat, so I just like don't like hair. I just don't want people, to, you know. So, but it takes no time. It's so Ugh. easy, and it makes this cool sound. It goes vroom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The brush with motor, goes, yeah. Vroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not bad. And uh, the room. No, how good they have it. No, today. social no. media cordless vacuum yeah. cleaners. Ingrateful. I remember. I remember the nightmares because we didn't have enough like power outlets around yeah. the house. <laughs> So there were parts that you just couldn't, and we had stairs growing up. There were carpeted stairs. Bring me that meat mountain oh, back. Oh my gosh, no! Dog. I threw it away. No, I don't want that shit out of your pocket, bro. That shit's got Corona and everything else. <laughs> are you? What are you gonna do with that sandwich? You gonna eat it? Oh, he will. Yeah, he's disgusting. So just to br uh, bring it back. Have William has the. No, William has a meat mountain out. in his. In his. Well, you could get it out of the garbage. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a You're joke not here really somewhere. kidding, right? I am. I'm kidding. I wouldn't eat it out of the garbage. <laughs> I don't think I you actually get the meat out of my pocket. I don't think I did throw it away. <laughs> There's the meat really in my pocket. You're like, no, that's the meat. It's meat so, so which more sanitary, the meat in William's pocket or the trash can? <laughs> I, I, well, I, I think I'm mistaken. I, I don't think I did throw it away. I see the bag over there. So if you bring really it in, want it. probably oh the trash. God. Why did you? Just... I'm sorry. I need because he's gonna I walk to out here. will see it. And... <laughs> then that that's a white lie. You could have lied here. I give you. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. William's birthday was like two weeks ago. How old you are you? Guys are Forty. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> don't play me like that. Bring me that Mead Mountain. How old do you think William just turned? I think he told me he's like 28. Yeah, 29. 29. Yeah. 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 I feel old now. That yeah, hair does not help. Don't touch that. I was protected by a plastic bag. 
gross. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please don't eat it. <laughs> like what are you going to do for me? What are you going to do okay, for me? Okay, what do you want? Your laptop is glistening. I know. <laughs> I know. I saw that. Uh, well, hold on, Dan. We're negotiating. Thing. What are you going to do for me? We can order a pizza. There you go. There it That's is. all I want to there do. It uh, oh, because you hate pizza. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't really hate it. He wants it every yeah. night. Oh, okay. I see. So Bullshit! <laughs> How dare you Okay, Bible. so for well, a while... But does he get it every night? Because William, like, he might well, want it. <laughs> yeah. For a while, William wanted to eat In-N-Out, like... Every day, I really like it out. And I'm like, you just can't eat the same thing every day. That's like that, and that's so not good for you. I didn't hate pizza. I was a normal person. Yeah. But I would eat it like, Too like much. social events or yeah. a yeah. birthday party. Yeah. That's when I would eat pizza. It it sort of is like a, more then, of an appetizer than a. With Ethan, it's like. All the time. So we're ordering a pizza tonight. Right. That's just how not many true. how many days a week Wait, do, do you eat pizza? Star sound bite? It's just <laughs> not true. <laughs> Do you have that one, uh, Zach? I don't think. I don't think we have. Damn. Yeah, you, you and Keith I'll are really going at it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really crossed the line. You really crossed the I, line. The, the comments are the most entertaining in all those tweets. <laughs> the comment. Well, so the comments on Keemstar's because he blocks so many people. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch of dick writers on his, mm. right. which is just so he's such a coward little. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to get all worked up about him. But like all the comments are just like please stop. Yeah, yeah. And then he blocks them all. Right. So you have to understand. But um I feel like I only react. Yeah. When he says shit then I then like for the longest time I just let him say whatever he wants, but now I I'm just I'm reacting to everything. Right. And I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, it's it's entertaining. I mean, I'm really proud of this one from last night, which I have to say is going really well for me. Does he, does he filter night? the tweets what happened you last before night? he posts them? Or is the he one about it? two jackasses. Uh, <laughs> I can tell that one really upset him because he's like, <laughs> this morning he's going off. He made a poll that said, should I keep bullying H3, yes or no? Oh, wow. Like bullying, bro. You're like fucking 40. How can Garbage. You even... Garbage. So anyway, I think this one really, um, this one really upset him because it did so well. But he, what, you, what's the? I don't really understand. What, he what thinks his... that uh, this is really you're it's gonna. So honest, dumb. He it's thinks so that Ela. There's this thing that all really rude people say that Ela looks like a horse. Okay. Very rude, and so Keemstar thinks you, it's you funny. You look like a human. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's you. very beautiful and doesn't look <laughs> yeah. like a horse. Well, and especially for a, like a man to be like commenting. It's right? like, crazy. Bro, it's so crazy. So gross. Yeah, and so he's tweeted at me literally a hundred times. But he thinks he's so slick because he just tweets pictures of a horse without saying what it is. So it's like certain people know what he's saying and certain people right. don't. They'll just be like, oh, why, what the is The beard that? is yeah. immaculate, though. Looks yeah, like he died. He did it. Die it the black. sunglasses look like something my grandmother would wear. That's true. He's got like the kind of vintage. Uh huh. But he goes, it's a donkey. And he says, is this a horse, H3? And I said, all I see is two jackasses. That's pretty good. Right? <laughs> That's a good response. Thank you. It really upset him. How like, old is he? He's like 40. Oh, Wait, bro. go to the comments. I want to see all the people pleading. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 I don't. Because, because look, as long as this guy. His whole timeline is full of shit about me. <laughs> like, let's go over here and just have a look. That's that's all he has time for in his life? By the way, this horse, wh- you know what he was doing? He was at a petting zoo with his daughter, uh, and he had made time to tweet at me like five right. times. Aww. He was at a petting zoo with that's his daughter! A lot, a lot of real estate in his mind. Dude, I'm just amused by it, and he's so upset. You are a piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> Come on, Keemstar, give it a rest. <laughs> he You're says, a fucking hypocrite. Here he sent me a DM. Didn't he get banned from YouTube at what point, one point a while back? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they like circumnavigated that somehow. So there's yeah. one. There's, there's two. You, there's you. Oh my god. Here's me. Hey Ethan, want to play Minecraft with me? He retweeted his own tweet because he thought it was good. And it's good. He does that sometimes. He says oh my this god, one. So many. He said, "Which thumbnail should I use?" He said, "This one." <laughs> That's a nice picture, though. Yeah, it's cool. I like the horse with the hat. That's yeah, kind of cute. cute. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm on his mind a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then this one at the petting zoo, he goes, he goes, the sunset with my daughter here trying to enjoy time with my daughter reminds me of something. And then, and then he posted this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <Did> he <laughs> That's at that? least took some There's effort. no way. No, no, that. someone else made yeah. it. Yeah. He posted oh, it, yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad that I'm on his mind more than his own fucking daughter. Apparently, that's really, really Oh, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't understand that. And he's too old to be acting that way. Uh, tell, talk to Keemstar as a teacher. <laughs> you spend a lot of time with children. Talk to him. I do. And children pick up on everything that their parents do and say. Like they, You're a fucking hypocrite. They, <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. They really do. This is a lot of like negativity. Like uh, a lot. Of, I, there's so many like channels on YouTube that really, really like capitalize on like other people's problems. Mm-hmm. Yes. Stuff. And it's like. It kind of makes me sad a little bit, you know, like there's, there's, it's like, oh, look at someone's down. Like now is my time to like speed up on them. And yeah, exactly. And, and like, like that's fine. Garbage. But the problem is like (laughs) when your paycheck is attached to it, then it's like, who am I going to bully this week? Right. Exactly. That's like, you're allowed to be an ass to people. Like, I don't care. (laughs) But the problem becomes when it becomes your income is like, now I have to be an ass and I'm going to like seek out the the easiest targets for me to take yeah. down Absolutely. because I profit off of it. And it's mm-hmm. like, then you end up with that kind of Garbage. broken loop where you're learning yeah. to pick on people. Absolutely. Like, But I, here's the thing is like, um, I ignore like 70% of it mm-hmm. and I respond to like the 30%, which I think is funny. Right. Because at this point, the thing about Keemstar is that he's very dangerous because he is relentless mm. and, and he will just, He's very vindictive, and like he'll just say and do anything to yeah. to, it to harm you. It as a little game for yeah. him. Like every mm-hmm. time you look at his Twitter, every week it's someone else. He's, I think he's caught that a lot is of like a cross line, but yeah. being on the receiving end, it's so damaging, and it's. I mean, even like the, it, he, it really can drive you crazy, and I'm not. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like the thing is, he he was always bringing up these new crazy things about me, like mm-hmm. that I'm stealing money or that. Someone said this about and just making shit up lying doing everything right. and then he's at the point where he literally exhausted Everything to the point where he's going back in my old tweets and finding pictures of me with mud on my face from the right. Dead Sea right. In Israel and saying I'm doing blackface, right? But the, but the, so it's like so he's spending a lot of time dude, digging he's into spending, your Personal well, not life just him, and he's, he's also weaponizing his following right. with every mm-hmm. tweet. He's showing them, to, like, send me, send me more, mm-hmm. you know. But, um, so, but yeah, I think he's nice very dangerous. Live your life. He's that's dangerous and he's very, and I think he's very damaging to the, yeah. to the community as a whole. Well, even, even like, um, like you, there's no, there's no like real rebuttal for an accusation. Like even if you completely prove any mm. innocence or anything, like people will always have that in their head. And yes. a lot of people might not even see the rebuttal yeah. because the rebuttal is not yes. interesting. Like uh, who, Miranda sings. Like, she I just dealt with some stuff. Yeah. And like it sounded bad from the outside, and I started right, watching I it. And, like and then it, it didn't really seem yeah. that dude. bad. I didn't really understand what the big hype was. It was just yeah. kind of like an awkward relationship. Yeah. With so this dude, so she, totally. so this dude made this video exposing her, and he and he's like, oh, she sent me lingerie when I was right. a kid. And, and I was like, oh, that's so, so weird. weird. But when right. she explained it, I was like, oh man, he totally fucked her. Right. Because I, I've like, you know, like when we do stuff, like I'll just send crap to people. Like I've literally right. sent so, like a piece of plywood in the mail to so somebody. The that's what she was it's doing. Just the underwear garbage. was like part of a scream yeah. and it wasn't used or anything. Right. Which is such a big difference. Yeah, right. it was something they he just said I was, he said I never even touched it or opened it from the bag like as if right. this was something that was used right. and is gross. And, and I think he'd even like asked for it or wanted it. Yes. So it did, you know, like not saying that that was the smartest thing she could have done but like right. my thoughts but before that difference. like having heard it was much worse than yeah. after the fact and like yeah. how many people and that's what that's what he does like he put out a video which was kind of one of the motivating factors for me making my my initial videos i don't know how much you followed this probably not no <laughs> yeah good for you <laughs> yeah you're better off i was teaching online <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the, it's very that is a way less <laughs> yeah better use of your time so he puts out that um that I that I'm stealing money from a collab we did with a video game company mm-hmm. that what I was supposed to donate to charity right. and I go I get the guy on the phone and I say uh, did we he's like money? that's not true and that video is still up and people still believe it yeah yeah and I don't think that somebody who's willing to just lie to that capacity, I feel who, like who presents themselves as news, is is, is, is a real danger. I so feel does like YouTube only... care or like look in any of this? Or, like I'm assuming he wouldn't be invited to like VidCon. I, it's complicated because or... I think you know, like the, the instant YouTube starts like pushing buttons behind the scenes, I mean, people lose their mind thinking that you're convincing them to push. Yeah, I took a picture with scene, Susan like two years. Which to me is comical because like they don't give a. They don't, they, right. they don't care at yeah. all. They like, think I have Susan on speed dial. No, so that's like, what, uh, only lately, like in the past week or two, I'm starting to understand also that this is kind of 
um, dipping into anti-Semitism too, mm. because all of a sudden I'm getting all these racist comments on my stuff, yeah. and then it's like when you connect the dots, they're saying that Ethan is greedy, right. he's always about the money, right. and now he's running a conspiracy. A, a conspiracy behind the scenes with the CEO of YouTube. Right. Like that's. Yeah, yeah, and well, if you say that, people will take it wrong. But Keemstar literally care how tweeted. People will take it. People, but well, no, Keemstar sticker. tweeted out like two days ago. Ethan is the George Soros of YouTube. Right. <laughs> I mean, that is an anti-Semitic uh, conspiracy. Also, I want to raise Weird. if you got George Soros money. You What's that? Up. He wants to raise. I want to ra- if you got George Soros money. <laughs> it's fucking pony up, man. How much Garbage. is George Soros worth? He's a, he's like a multi billionaire, right? <laughs> I don't know anything about him. Sure, I just I wish George YouTube was more Soros. like the early early days when everybody was like there was less money involved. People yeah, were more like creative. Billion. Like we want right. to be filmmakers. Nice. They saw TV and they're like, oh, we want to do skits and special effects and mm-hmm. comedy and blah blah blah. I'm like, that's like when I make you know made YouTube videos early on. Like you know we'd watch like Corridor Digi- Digital, Freddie W. Um, mm. uh, mm-hmm. Shay Carl, who's sort of, I guess, fallen from graces <laughs> in the past couple of years. Um, Cassim G, you know, like all of mm-hmm. these genres that are just like having fun and like mm-hmm. doing skits and like making content. And it seems like now there's this huge, huge, huge population of content that's just like, what's something that we can shit on? It's to? meta content. Yeah. It's not real content. Exactly. Yeah. And like some of it is more like, you know, like criticisms of pop culture and I think that stuff is fine but then you get like the real dark stuff where it's like mm-hmm. attacks on people's personalities and a lot of this stuff yeah. ends up being like speculation right. um, I mean even like the whole thing with, with IDubs Ian where you're just like what is going the, the on the simp yeah. thing the simp like it was oh just it was God. purely entertainment for people like yeah. nobody actually cares yeah. it was it was like a yeah. Britney so Spears moment up. where they're like let's just go all in and like watch this spectacle unfold Ooh, so it, was, insane. it was so yeah I felt bad for how how everyone just was like who gives a fuck if it's, it doesn't affect anything. Right. But I think there, honestly, I think the, another problem is that there's like a really large, I think there's some kind of weird political movement online where mm-hmm. it's like the cu- people who walk around saying cuck that actually uh, think that's funny. Right. I mean, people who say uh, cuck and soy boy unironically. There's a lot of people right. on mm-hmm. YouTube. And they're the people that think that uh, Idubs is a cock, right. and they think that that is an actual I insult. What That's that a better was, word. Because I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> like the the accusation. Cuck? Well, because that that was like the main accusation was simp, right? And it didn't even make yeah. sense. Simp doesn't make sense right. at all because it's, he's people he's getting it. it. Yeah, <laughs> a simp is someone who pays and doesn't get it. Right, he doesn't pay and, and so gets it. It's just like the whole thing was just like let's light something on fire. <laughs> yeah, what happened. Mm. but cuck also. I guess cuck does make more sense, even though. But not really. It still it still doesn't, and it's it like, doesn't no, really make any yeah. sense either. Yeah, neither of those labels work. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a very it's very strange, and I I don't know. Like some days where when things go on, and I, you've never had anything like severe happen, but why don't poke? I just hard? can't imagine having to like live in that fear of like oh my gosh this per like he did nothing and then all of this happened for no choice a lot of that he a lot made. of people forget <laughs> yeah. that you're like a real person yeah too. he and did he's... made no choices yeah. it was his you know had nothing to do with i've him. been feeling like that for years yeah Dude. Like yeah. meeting Ian for the first time, he's like a drastically different person than you would think. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. the problem is like the audience sort of like has, you know, like I he's an edge lord. They, yeah. they, he's like, one of them. When when you're like making a graph in science, you call it like extrapolation, mm-hmm. where it's like you have these two points of like what you think is going on, like what you know is going on, and then you just sort of go beyond that. And that's what people have done. Is they like they sort of see this thing that Ian is, and they sort of just assume outside of what they've seen, like who he is as a person. Yeah. And and then when he does something that sort of counters that or maybe, you know, maybe he like changes or learns something new or had a debate with somebody where he, you know, realized maybe he was thinking about something wrong. Mm. And then he changed his opinions and now all of a sudden everybody is like like freaking out. He's not like us. Yeah. I think the same thing happened to me is that like back in the day we were doing all these like it was really making fun of social justice warriors was right. like the fun thing to do. Hmm. And there was so much good content and they were so fun to make fun of. And it's not necessarily a partisan thing, but it did court a lot of very conservative edge lords who actually right. hate women right. and are actually, I would say, um, toxically conservative. Right. I mean, not. I'm not. I'm not. That's not a critique of like conservatism. It's more like people who are like incels and right. hate women mm-hmm. and think that people who are mm-hmm. who have yeah. are sex workers are like immoral stuff like that. Yeah. And so I courted a lot of these people, and I think that's a lot of the people who are angry at me today mm-hmm. is because I think I did make a conscious effort 
throughout the past several years to kind of make it very clear that um, I do not share the same values right. as these people. Yeah. You know? Right. And when you're making content, though, it's like it's just sometimes hard. Like you're trying to be entertaining and sometimes poking buttons and like poking and stuff like that is entertaining. And then people take it too seriously. Yeah. Like it's all it's like consumed literally like this is this is exactly what you think. Like this is not a joke. And then you start like right. filling in the mm. outside of like, you know, coloring outside the lines of who mm. that person is. Mm. And it just I don't know. They don't realize like at the end of the day, like I have problems, too. And like I'm there's a stuff real I struggle human. with and there's stuff I, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Like. Like, I don't understand half of the stuff I do and how people interpret it. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna try to be creative today and see what happens. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that and that's like, well, you know, I think the original like early on when like the the first podcast where people are all upset. Like to me, it's mm-hmm. like I see that as the same thing. It's like a content production thing. Where it's like we're making content. What do people want to see? Yeah, you make a decision, and at the end of the day, people treat it as like some malicious attack <coughs> where like your intents were to do a, a bad thing. And it's like you know, you're just making stuff for people to mm-hmm. consume, and sometimes you well, people have no it. idea what goes on. Behind the scenes, no idea what it what goes into editing, no idea what goes into just e- to making a video. People think you just turn on your camera, mm. you mm. press record, you press stop, you upload it to YouTube. Like that's it. And it's like there's so much more, and that is not well known or really spoken about. And so then the people just right. demand, 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 and they think that they can just get everything like that. That's that. It's absolutely not the reality of being a YouTuber. It's. I remember when he started it, like, I had no idea, and the amount of hours that he puts into things, mm-hmm. and like how he works way, way more than I do, and I have a full time job, and he wakes, he works way more than me. He doesn't take breaks. I can barely get him to take like a weekend day off, or good, mm-hmm. you know, let alone if my like, let's go on a vacation. It's my spring break, and he's just like, I have to. Work. It's no one yeah. knows that. I You're mean, just that used to be person. us for a really long time until we made a conscious decision. Like, we got to start taking weekends off. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, we know, don't work on weekends now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we we always work still. Like, it's not the same though. Like that. But I was like, I'm filming we're, today. Like, the was weekend it, is off now. Was it easier for you to? Did you do that before you had your son, or did you yeah. guys do that? You know, as that like transition. I think you, there was a time when we were like going super hard on the grind, and that means like non-stop you know, working 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 yeah. and then we started to just feel bad all the time right. mm-hmm. and it just got unhealthy and it's easy for me to come and say like honey you need to take the we're gonna take this week and we're gonna do this or we're gonna go here or i'm gonna book this and you don't have a say because i i'm not in it the same way as he is like yes i'm close to it and i understand mm-hmm. but i have a normal you know quote unquote right. normal job and structure and all this stuff and he doesn't so that's you know <laughs> It's a battle, and I'm always trying to. And I think he's more receptive now the longer he's been in it. In it yeah, but. I feel like I've been like recognizing like issues for a while now, like trying to better separate. Because it's like I have such yeah. a hard time separating the two. Where it's like, well, I have a thing to do, and mm-hmm. I have to finish it by this date, so I might as well work on it on Saturday. Yeah, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you know, otherwise it's going to be more difficult yeah. for me to yeah. do it on Monday. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, you know, who makes who makes the rules? Like I make the rules because I'm the one who decides when to do stuff or not do. It's like stuff. you do make the rules, but you also don't sometimes it feels like right. because if something is moving and you want to keep it moving right you're just kind of like in that cycle yeah and it's it's like but you know when you're employed i feel it's easy to be like i don't really want to go to work today and then when you leave work you're like yeah fine i'm not at work anymore okay but you've doing like this physically stuff, left work. yeah like there's no way of like displacing like the very like few times i've sort of felt like i could stop thinking about it. like even if i'm being unproductive like i can't stop thinking about it. Mm-hmm. like it just yeah. doesn't stop but it's like but um yeah you do have to work on that because yeah. burnout is right. a real thing right and mm-hmm. if you want to be in it for like the long picture right. then and that's and that's like what I, I feel like the yeah. past like I feel two years is sort of like like trying to figure it out like how do we figure it out how do yeah. we figure it out and it was like just haven't quite figured it's it okay, out. It's okay It takes time because you want to keep the momentum going. Yeah, right. With right. YouTube, YouTube is kind of an insidious bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it requires this the requires a certain amount of you. Right. Yeah. Right. And then your your like family and friends or you know your partner they you suffer too because yeah. you're yeah. I'm on this ride whether I like it or oh, not yeah. <laughs> right. right. I'm with you and I you know yeah. we support each other and uh, we're a team <laughs> also the it's kind of funny because in the videos it almost looks like everyone's have, just having fun mm-hmm. and like, oh yeah it's like so right. thrown together like yeah. right. but, but your actual life is like nothing right. like that you're sitting you at a computer all right. time exactly. with friends yeah. you don't socialize yeah. you don't go out you're seeing uh, you don't even have a weekend like we did <laughs> and then people tell you exactly. stop com- 
don't don't complain because you have right. the best job ever. And like some, true, sometimes but, it know. is like and like you get those pockets, right. and, like the stuff that you show people. <laughs> like okay, how do I set up a situation where you are having fun? And I think like the the example I can think of right now, we we filmed something the other day over Discord, which was pretty fun. Um, but we when we did the vacuuming video where we had all the rub, the Roombas or knockoff Roombas doing like the competitions. Like I had like seven, six or seven people at the house, like just other YouTube channels. And it was a total like shit show. But in my mind, I'm trying to figure out like, okay, like, like what do we have to do to sort of make this feel fulfilling, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because the idea I started with at the beginning was to just have a bunch of pudding and like put the vacuum cleaner through it and just see what happens. But then is that the whole video? I it's like I, what if it's a contest, you yeah. know? And then the whole time I'm sitting there I'm like, is this too stupid? Like oh, it yeah. is stupid. <laughs> no, that, but that then you, too yeah. well. <laughs> you set up the situation and you just are there and your friends and like, you know, during a lot of it you're laughing and having fun, but like there's still a lot of stress of like yeah. I need to like figure out how to make this yeah. happen because I have everybody here. Yeah. And, like I don't want to waste their time. And at right. the end of the day if I come out with nothing mm. and like we tried to use an editor for that video and the first cut I got back from them I like shit my pants. <laughs> oh this is horrible yeah like this i know that so too Gee, it's so bad because yeah. they focused on the vacuum cleaners i'm like that's not the interesting part the part mm -hmm. is like this just, the dynamic this horrible situation we've set up where we have you know putting on a carpet and just absolute chaos you know in a house like and that's you know what the end the final edit sort of focuses on yeah. instead of the yeah. actual like and how he many does all of the about. editing and he's try. i can't even count how many people he's tried to have edit and it just doesn't it doesn't work, and so that's again people have no idea how much time goes into editing. Yeah, and editing so it's the worst. Part. It's a lot. It's the absolute worst part. And a lot of times, like I'll film stuff after the fact to like fill in the gaps, or like mm -hmm. this is like, like we when I had her cut my hair, like I filmed it, and like it's like the most boring part of the video is the actual haircut. Like people don't realize it. Like but the then title, you get the click comments. On. It's like mm -hmm. you know something rude or whatever. Like with Ian, where they're like simp and this and that, and you're like. All this work that I've done, <laughs> it's just like that's what it gets boiled down to is this mean comment because you can't help but, you know, not necessarily fixated on that. But when everyone is just like throwing it at you and tweeting and this and that, it's like, do you oh notice how like, like a mean comment has like a hundred times the power yeah. of a nice comment? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's the worst. Like, and I was always just like, I, I, I mean, I for the most part don't read comments anymore. I poke through them yeah, just I to be careful, them. but yeah. like, I don't look at my, like, I've even sort of had to like really nail down this like train of thought of like, if I see a comment that really gets me going, because sometimes people will just like, they'll find like the little crack and then they like, like a weak they spot. They got lucky. They, they found that weak right. spot that you're yeah. already thinking about. <laughs> Something that you think about <laughs> right. back your mind and you wouldn't, yeah. You know, because like, like one of the things would be like, you know, like, all the original videos on my channel were like very like science oriented. And I just have been sort of deviating because it, it tends to be a lot of work to do those videos. And it's like there's a lot of other stuff going on I'm trying to deal with in my life. And so, you know, when I see people say stuff like that, it's just like, oh, it's so frustrating, and especially if they're mean about it. Mm -hmm. um, and if I ever have, like, the energy to want to reply to them where I'm just like, I want to say, like, you know, F you, uh, I'll try to direct that and find some people who are, like, being nice and, like, mm -hmm. reply that's, to them instead. That's great. Like, because that's who deserves it. Like, that's yeah, the yeah, people yeah, who, yeah. who make your you life totally the best. totally do that. And the mean ones, you know, are, like, <laughs> they just mix yeah. you. I stopped looking at it, like, years and years ago because I'm like don't be mean about my, my mom used to sort of text <laughs> yeah. me like this person's being a, a jerk to you <laughs> and I'm like mom his don't mom look at the comments is his number one fan by the way and she like gets really mad because you know YouTube like you it'll turn off the alarm sometimes like notifications mm -hmm. and she's like your video was up and I didn't know she's oh, like yeah. I wake up to be the first one to watch it <laughs> that's funny <laughs> yeah and on her breaks at work she'll put it on silent and just replay it <laughs> oh my oh god, my god. So wow epic she loves she's like his <laughs> number wow. one fan. Mom's legit. Her biggest supporter <laughs> yeah that's she's what's like, up like all the stuff I bought him as a kid the breadboards and there are all these like things that he I wish like, my hey, mom ran my videos I think my dad thinks meal. I'm a loser though so it's, it balances yeah his dad out. thinks that <laughs> really? he's, he's you know needs to get a normal job I think not I think you're doing pretty good now, yeah. yeah, I don't think he can hate anymore. Yeah. No, he can't, but he still is. You know, He's yeah. a hater. He doesn't he had to... as much. His mom has always been like the number one, but his mom right. is also from Sweden. So once you <laughs> say that, like, oh yeah, it, like it pays the bills and stuff, then they're just like, oh, I don't understand it. But okay, my mom though has just been like super excited. She's like, all of my family are engineers, <laughs> and that was my son. And... Yeah. I don't know. I just where do you get all these shirts? <laughs> oh really? Okay. I, so it, combination. It started with my sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my sister would like for Christmas or, or birthday, she would give me cat shirts. Uh -huh. uh, because she didn't know what to get him. Those are really good. Yeah. Like as someone who, who has a background in clothing with Ela, like that's a really nice print. I think I have like all of the possible cat shirts that exist. <laughs> I think so too. Every time I was like, He oh. has in our like it, his uh, cat shirts take over two drawers, and I had to put them in the office because wow. 
there's so many of them. Like, okay. Do you do you no, make a? I love that. Do you make a conscious selection, or do you just grab? Whatever? Um, depends. If something that I know I have fits, like if if you're doing something that involves like electricity, like I've got one with like there's like lightning. Right, bolts. right, 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 right. Um, but <laughs> sometimes you, you like have to pick whatever. Like. It's some, you were doing something. It was like a Fourth of July, like last. Yeah, year, then you got like, like an Ameri- like one where the cat's got sunglasses. It says like a like meow. With a... The American flag, <laughs> sunglasses. So I also do buy. So I'll f- buy ones if I see them that are like a specialty. So I definitely contribute to the issue. <laughs> but most, I would say 70% of them are sent to people. him. That's amazing. By yeah. great. Fans it's awesome. Or That's a nice shirt. Free clothes. Yeah. I just really got to figure good. out how to turn them into pants and I don't have to buy any clothes. <laughs> I Guys, send me you pants and underwear. Yeah. <laughs> mountains. <No. laughs> yeah. Well, um, I think we're going for about two hours. Wow. Yeah. Is there anything else to discuss? Mm. I'd like to see you hit that meat mountain in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it really sticks out quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's so gross. And and it, do you have plan? I mean, uh, so lumpy. I know you can't be happy with the hair situation. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Every, <laughs> my mom I, keeps asking if she can come. His what? mom came over the next day because I sent a picture with her hair cutting kit and was like, "Let me fix this." And he was like, I, "No." Okay, so I hate getting my hair cut. I hate getting my hair cut. And we found this. This. Uh, Are we, you embarrassed to go out in public like no, that? No, I just, I, dude, I stopped caring a long time ago. You just, you, you start to feel like probably the first time it was embarrassing, but yeah. now it's like, now this is just care. me. Yeah, like yeah. what are they gonna do? Stay away from me? Uh, so so right. we found a girl that would. You look like you have cut. coronavirus. <laughs> 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 I may have at one point. Yeah. Um, and she, we, uh, she was going. She like she watched the videos and she like came to the park one day. We were filming a thing there and I put out a thing yeah. on Twitter like come to the park and help us with this. Um, and she was like going to like hairdressing school. And so yeah. then I basically would pay her to come to the house and cut our hair when mm-hmm. we were at the last house. Yeah. And then you she like moved. asked, you weren't like me. You were like, hey, would it be okay? Because I'm really bad at He's right. so bad at scheduling. Like, it's so hard to get him because he's always like working, doing stuff. It's so hard. So she was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So she would come over and <laughs> like, do it. Yeah. Like, one day she came and like cut like half the people, like, like three. Yeah. Three <laughs> there was like four guys. I think actually Ian was at the house. Ian. He got a haircut? Too. And yeah, we all got a haircut. Wow. Like, Michael, really John. Yeah. yeah. My, well, my mom's. She's retired, but she used yeah. to be a hairdresser, so. Did she cut your hair? Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, I'm not going to go travel no. to a he, barber. Well, I mean, it's insane. It's like it's so much effort. Yeah. Cut his not hair growing insane. up. It's insane. And then, yeah. The, the I just sh- don't like doing it. You need a buzzer, though, because you just buzz the whole thing. Yeah. I, like, what? you can't save this. The sides are, like, to uh, the scalp. Well, she did that. So what? Okay. So get him. Don't say she did that. <laughs> he said for this video, I want a mullet, and I'm like, okay. So then, if you'll you in the mohawk? video, in the video, I gave him a mullet, and he's like, no, make it shorter on the sides, because I mm-hmm. did short. I'm like, yeah, business, and he's like, no, shorter, shorter. So I'm like, okay, oh, so I don't you, know how to use it, and I just she did what you want. I bought, I bought pink hair dye too, but I want to. Uh, uh, no, I want to show, show the picture. Correction, I. He she said bought. the only way he would shave his beard because I hate it so much. He's had it since quarantine. The beard is is rough. I hate for it. Sure. He said <laughs> the only way he'll that. shave it is if oh. I buy hot no. pink dye. Oh, is like, that what you wanted? Yeah. That's no. fucking. Um, that is the craziest it's shit, disgusting. bro. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. But I bought the pink dye the next day because he said, I'll shave it if I can dye it what pink. About and the you... next day I bought it, it's been sitting there for weeks. Well, so what's happening? Have you seen the one where they do the ring around the head, too? That yes. That awesome. Yeah. Wait, let me pull that up. Oh, no. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> that one is really cool. Well, there's he can't a, do it currently. There's a guy on uh, uh, the Vlog Squad, Ug, uh, Ug It's Joe. Ug It's Joe? I don't Here. know exactly how you say it. He's done a bunch of wild hairstyles like that. Has he done this He's one? my role model for, for bad hair. <laughs> I think he did do the loop. Let me look at his Instagram. Here, this is the one that I love. This one. <laughs> Dude, isn't that fucking amazing? <laughs> no, it's not uh-huh. amazing. It's, I don't I think, think I can do that. I think so uh, awful. Oh, gross. He's got cr- like really low neck hair because that is a really complete. I, yeah, think, I think I can do that. No, yeah. no. you have to grow in the sideburns. Well, yeah, yeah no. the sideburns we did this morning. I should have left. Think, uh, fully open it because it's it's blocked by the uh, picture in picture. But if I so they fucked up their sh- if I click it, it will go to some random website. Oh God! All right, I guess we get the idea. You get the idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get no, the it's... idea, and I'm not happy that William has. And then the other one that I like is um. Yeah, this is totally no. awesome. Uh-uh. What was the one you showed me? I want to show the audience. Just the, because uh, it's oh, possible. Okay. <laughs> how do, how do it's like two, the double ring. Yeah. <laughs> double hey, ring I feel beard. like it looks kind of like Homer Simpson, honestly. Maybe just type like awful beard. That ain't it. Yeah. Or a I think beard. I just looked up, yeah, terrible beards or something. 
These are just poor dudes who are getting clowned on for a <laughs> week facial hair. Conan a That was not the idea. <laughs> yeah, why is, Co- where, why is Conan getting clowned on? Uh, this is 23 hot dudes with bad facial hair. Fuck you, his beard that looks, looks great. Like just like a yeah, normal beard. Looks that normal. looks well mannequin. how dare you? His beard normally looks like that. This is not normal. Yeah, that I can approve. Wait, I hate and it. S- <laughs> crazy and beard. Like, it just did it on my face. It's like too much room for like dirt and food. <laughs> food. Yeah. Meat yeah. mountain. And it's here, deep. here. Superman. Oh, that. Uh, <laughs> what uh, the uh, fuck? Here. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> You would see. You couldn't they do that by neck. yourself, though. You'd have to go to someone. <laughs> yeah, you. That's a professional. And I know he'll right. never do that. So yeah, sure, do it, babe. Oh, this dude put a dude a birdcage around his head. With... <laughs> that can't be real. It is real. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, it's real. How? Gross. It's real, bro. Well, you don't know. <laughs> no, I, I've seen this. They had a competition. Yeah, but how do you... No, it's it... not real. It's real, I'm telling you. I know the you. video that you're talking about, and that video is fake, so... Dan, you don't know. Oh. It's I, do, I do know. That's a birdcage beard, dude. No. Well. It's a ring beard. <laughs> it's awesome. Here, here's another photo. Tell me it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> just cackling. Tell me this isn't real. I mean, that one maybe is real. <laughs> maybe this was inspired by that fake video that you're referring How? to. And I'm not somebody referring did to it for a fake video. You then said you the like, competition. The guy, with, the guy in the competition with jacket. the birdcage. That, that video is fake. I mean, I, I, I refuse to believe this isn't real. I'm I think super the jacket is with this selling. because William, I can see like a little... <laughs> the gear is turning. Yeah, he is... Uh, hey. No, really that the only thing that really gets me excited is the... That's a problem. That's hilarious. This one? That's, that's too You much have too many moles term. on your yeah. head to shave yeah. it, too. You what can't is do this? It. What is this? It's just a poop. A squirrel? Like Why that. does his face look so round? That looks Photoshopped. That's, <laughs> oh, that's a squirrel. Oh, that's oh, okay. That's I get definitely Photoshopped. <laughs> I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> that's funny. Money it sign? It kind of looks like... <laughs> <laughs> looks like a mug. <laughs> like Homer Simpson, I think, the one that he showed you. The way that it, it kind of makes it look I'm like a I'm trying to find it because I want to show... Oh, is that Keemstar? <laughs> There's some, the darker the beard, the more evil. That's the fake. Look, the beard doesn't match that the hair. Like, oh, you can. Keemstar's beard looks fake too. It just looks like ink black. <laughs> that does look yeah. fake. That's right. got to be fake. Well, that's what I was asking his age. So he probably just died. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I'm impressed with some of these. Man. What's the longest you've grown your beard out? Dude, not not long, cause cause you can grow a beard. Yeah, but like, once it gets like a little longer than this, it just gets so disgusting and curly. Yeah. And curly. There's a threshold. Like I think once you get like a couple weeks beyond that, it's it starts to like escape the. I've never escaped the atmosphere. You, you of also, <laughs> William looks like he has instantly from doing gained twenty it? pounds yeah, I don't like with it. his beard. Every time I like let it go and then trim it, people always compliment my weight. They're like, "Oh, you lost weight." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> because it's like think about a lot of the stuff in YouTube. Right. It's like here, it's like you look like you oh. just gained a lot of weight. Have you guys seen this? Watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it, Dan? <laughs> Yeah, we see. It's, a great it's my favorite. What is TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is an oldie. It's an oldie. It kind of looks like my old boss. I think he's in court or something. Where, what, he's like a yeah, criminal. Like Where did he bring a lighter? <laughs> oh, I, mean, he, I love how he pops his teeth out. Or something, and the attorney was like, okay, like what are you going to do is yeah, pop well, those are clearly your beard on dentures. fire. <laughs> yeah, it's just a party. But they're really bad dentures, Yeah, look how his dentures are all fucked up. Like, I think he make the dentures look nice. Yeah, just the fake teeth are bad. Damn. Like you could oh, here you go. It. Oh, yes. Ooh. People no, did that. People did that when because Will, William posted a picture or something and said like, "If you do this, I'll put it in the next video." And people definitely sent him pictures. Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, and with the, the cutoffs, woo, this well, old guy. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm trying to find the one you showed me, man. Oh, why? What in the fuck? Uh, that really, that one just disturbs that. me. Yeah, I hate. What like ring beard? Maybe no. I don't know. I, How do you search for that? What is the name of the style? I don't know. Let me try ring beard. And unfortunately, like, I did idea, find yeah. it. Or maybe I put bad. Bad beards. Can, They're I just clowning on poor uh, Conan O'Brien. Give me <laughs> the description on the Instagram page at a time. Yeah, give me. Okay, so the account, t- uh, ugly design without any spaces. Wait, I'm going. I'm just okay. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Ugly. I just realized uh, we never went back to JK. Uh, JK. JK Raffle. JK. <laughs> new flopping. Start, new aesthetic. <laughs> okay. New start. New aesthetic. <laughs> new life, baby. Oh, I think I, I, think I found what? it. You oh. 
Oh, that's weird. Oh, those cigarettes on her neck. Oh. oh, that's a good look. Jesus. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, are those tone? I can't look at that. Dan said, and I put, I put said, those, uh, the, the bat? Okay, Dan found it. I can't look at What did that. you search for? Oh, I just went to that page you were talking about. Oh, okay. Is yeah. this it? Oh. <laughs> Uh, That's so probably the most disgusting <laughs> so shit ever. It's so good. I don't know what. New start, new aesthetic, baby. I, see, I found this picture <laughs> as like after he oh. did the where he shaved right here. I was like, oh, so look at good. how gross this one is. Like, thing, haha. And then he was like, oh, I'm going to do that next. I think you could do it. Yeah, I think a lot of dudes could do that one, actually. Because mm. if it, even if you have a patchy beard, you just kind of. It also looks like he has no chin. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's terrible. I fucking oh. hate this. Yeah, and this the is long, the worst cut the ever. Long, kind of ratty hair. Do you have anything about J.K. Ruffling? <laughs> Ruffling. Uh, well, I mean, I, I did find a tweet, but I, I, that was a pretty long like saga of, and then she she wrote a whole blog post that was really long. I, I don't yeah, know. I if guess we really it's a whole thing. All right. Yeah. Dumbledore was gay. How do you feel about that? Great. Great. I mean, that was obvious <laughs> from care. the, yeah. Uh, what, what did you call it? I felt like it was. Really? What evidence Double was there that Dumbledore was gay? Just like, just like the way that he treated everyone, his, like, I never I mean, imagined like, a, his compassion, just the way he was so accepting of all, like, the. Yeah, it never crossed my mind as sexuality. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about I, it either. It I picked up on it in the scene when he sucked Snape's dick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just think like his, his acceptance and stuff it was something that was when it came out it was like yeah I was like I feel like I did know that but then I'm like oh no I guess it didn't say anything And so was there anyone else that that they've changed sexuality post or I made clear so. it was just Dumbledore's gay well she never she just made it like I think there was a question people were like oh is this yeah. Is this true or is this not true? And she's like, yeah, no, it is. I feel like you get a mm. couple of those maybe, but like if you start like changing a bunch of stuff after or, like start like clarifying things after the fact, it's like just let the books be the books. I wouldn't comment because on that. Because she does yeah. extensive yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like the Potter more. Like she does extensive, um, you know, background and additional information and all that. Uh -huh. That's been going on for years. Is so. she the richest woman in the world? No, it's Jeff Bezos' wife. Or oh, yeah, from oh, the divorce. Oh. Isn't, instantaneous. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that crazy? Wait. You get half of somebody's money and you're still like... I don't even Actually, think she we got were half. just talking about that the other night. Was it more right? than half or less than half? It was less. Okay. I think she got like 30 billion. It's fucking oh, awesome. God. I bet you they could have gotten more. <laughs> but like probably the richest... <laughs> or she should have got a better lawyer. So much money. So what does that mean? Because the lawyer gets a cut of that, right? It's like the, the richest woman in the world is actually the, the Walton... Uh, uh, Walmart? Yeah, the Walmart oh. uh, heiress. What did you do with 30 <laughs> oh. billion dollars? It goes on the cover. Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Oh, okay. They put her in the top 10, maybe? Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, she's in, it looks like yeah. four, number four. Man, that's yeah. a that's a fucking settlement right there, boy. Alice? Alice Walt. Oh, she's rich as fuck. <laughs> that <laughs> what, do you, right. what do you do with 54 billion dollars? I have no Steal idea. Steal fucking like, <laughs> health care right. from low paid workers. I like know. I just that boggles my mind. Like yeah. this creep. Like people are so like disassociated from But especially Walmart. It's like, dude, you don't even give like you like cut people's hours so that they don't have full time yeah. employment and they live on food stamps. There was a post yeah. on Reddit yesterday of a t shirt they like I don't know if it was one Walmart or it was a corporate thing that they gave to their employees and it was like the what's the flag statue where they're lifting the flag up like the soldiers? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Iwo Jima. Marines. Did you see there's like the Walmart interpretation of it where it shows oh, like the doctors, yes. just the MC firefighters, and then the lifting Walmart, the Walmart flag. Like, yeah, the Walmart vest like lifting the American flag, and it's like, oh. They posted that? <laughs> an employee. Pull that up. Oh, an employee posted that. Yeah. Okay. It, I, I, yeah, it was awful. It looks real. L'Oreal? Man, hair products is what's oh, up, wow. dude. $50 billion. I would not have thought of that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, like, what do you, what, how do you make your life better with $50 billion? I don't know. Their shampoo's bomb, though. They got that fruity ass shampoo. Oh, I hate that. Well, you obviously don't know what you're talking about because <laughs> she's worth fifty billion. Yeah. I don't. Look, like her it. hair looks kind of like her hair is kind of black. Anyways. It's like Our, yeah, she's got some loose ends there. What do you call that? Little split. split ends? She got split ends for sure. <laughs> loose ends. Wait, this is a. <laughs> She's, this is a really bad endorsement for her shampoo. Yeah. I don't think they do only shampoo, though. I think they do probably do beauty. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think she, the cock family. Wow. What are they? 38 Billy Billy. <laughs> what do these fuckers do? Uh, oil? The, the Coke family. Coke. The cock oh. family? Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> the oil. cock. What do they do? They sell <laughs> oil? Oh, does uh, it say underneath? Why yeah, are there so many billionaires? You would think. Mm. 
No. What do you do? What do you even do with that money? Anyway? The uh, the mm-hmm. Coke Coke Industries uh, involved in the manufacturing of petroleum chemicals, yes, energy, oil. fiber, polymers. They're in the polymer business. Polymer. Uh, it's all oil. It's all oil. Really. Yeah, I Love guess that's, yeah, it sounds like it. What's the Belle <laughs> Delphine mystery box? Oh, she spit in a <laughs> Oh. Uh, jar and send it to us. Actually, yeah, yeah. You want to smell it? No. <laughs> we occasionally get it out no. and smell it. I would. <laughs> it was a big mistake last time. <laughs> <We're> definitely <laughs> no. <laughs> no, William, just you're done. You're done. Well, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> no, your curiosity is done. The spit of an internet legend is in that yeah. box. Stop. <laughs> There's you made me look at like videos. See, this of is that. like this is the like the the grounding that I need in my yeah. life. Wait, yeah, right. you watched that stupid right. bathwater one, and I was like, no. Oh well, so so done she with internet for today. There's so, also belly lint in there if you want. Really, from, from Skippy the from Virgin. Skippy the Virgin. We have a jar of his belly <laughs> bottle. Yeah. bodily something for the ladies as well. <sighs> when she was doing the bathwater, we were coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I, I like, I can't. I think we had. Ideas that other people did where they were testing the water. But I'm like, what if you made like a pot of mac and cheese with it? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you know, were what? there. We just, everyone I was, was coming there up with ideas. And I was like, shut it down, shut it down. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> tried to do? Uh, I tried to get her to fart in a jar and send it to me. She wouldn't do that. No, she sent a she spit sent a instead. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that, that'd be awesome. Oh my God. Uh, Mackenzie Bezos. Yep. Oh crushing God, it. 30. Jacqueline Mars, who's that? Mars bars? Oh, candy! What? Oh. That, dude, that Mars no money is way. crazy. That's crazy. And then thirty-five billion food? dollar candy. Oh wait, uh, wait. Is it kind of funny that they make pet food and <laughs> Mars yeah, I wonder bars? What pet? Like, I wonder what name. It must be some like one of the big brands. Let's see. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Twenty-four wow. billion. That explains why Mars bars taste like you, dog food. You think that much <laughs> money would make your life worse? Um, like, do you think it would bring? I think at a certain point of wealth, like once you cross a billion, or not, I mean, billions, like, you couldn't trust anyone that likes you for you. It's all just gonna be, I feel like it would just be super, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really, I couldn't even empathize with being that rich. It just yeah. it feels like you see all the stories of people winning the lottery and it just like destroys their life. Yeah, because they have no they have no right. systems right. in place to handle that. But then that. think of like the fact that you like you ha- you're so wealthy that you have to have systems in place to handle that. You know, like, yeah, that you have to have right. systems to even get that far in, right. in business. Just like who do you you know how do you have like genuine relationships with people or it like forces you to like only have relationships with like a certain like class of people who are closer. To I you think either. there's a lot of that. For sure. Like, I even feel weird, you know, doing the YouTube stuff because, like, I, you know, like, I still consider myself like a normal person. And, like, you know, occasionally someone will like recognize you on the street. But people will talk to me, and there's always like this suspicion or this kind of like, you know, like hesitation of knowing in my mind how I perceive people on YouTube back in the day and like being careful with how I communicate things to them or like what I say because it's almost like you're giving them a bunch of like information that Mm. they, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like it's almost weird like sometimes. Yeah, there's definitely that level of, yeah. I mean, that's kind of just... Like it's harder to One break down to people and be more of a human. Like you're like your defensive walls you are, do, are up yeah. way more frequently. And, mm. and yeah. I am to like constantly like I really think about what I'm saying because because of the fact that I'm not like exclusively in YouTube, right? It's like it's what my husband does. And people will ask me things and at first you kinda of think it's innocent and you're just like talking and having a conversation, be like, Oh wait, this is really personal like I can't, you know, and I, I I'm very aware of it at this point. This is more early on, but you can't. It's like, mm. I can't tell you all these things. I can't tell you about people I'm, you know, that he's close to their friends with because it is. It's you can't. Mm-hmm. It's a trust thing yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the. It's kind of just one of the pitfalls, right? Yeah. But it gets worse the yeah the higher you right. go, right? And like that terrifies that me. Like we, you know, we've still had not like super bad problems, but it's like when people call you, like that sucks. Yeah. Like it, it just sucks. It sucks for everybody. It sucks for them. I don't even answer my phone anymore. Yeah. unless I know who it is. But if if you're it, like expecting it, someone to call and you don't know, know what the number is going to be, yeah. and you I don't up, answer. It, it fucks happens my life up. So many times we miss deliveries or <laughs> really? yeah, I just don't answer calls. I don't answer. Aww. I don't. Yeah, see, I like, even think today, like we just had our <laughs> roof done, and he's like, "Oh, I need to call you for something today," but I don't have the number. Like you know, the call from a different number, not the company one. And I'm like, oh, it's a huge gamble when you answer on. Yeah, call. it is. Right. I get very anxious. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a lot of people have two often. phones. Yeah, I don't want to carry two phones. That's with then, me. Yeah. yeah, just yeah, yeah. That's the life, baby. You made it. 
yeah, it yeah. gets worse. That aspect gets worse, <laughs> but you get used to it. <laughs> but I'm obviously, but like right. this. You guys have had it, I think, probably the worst of some of the people. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, as bad as you can on just being a YouTuber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although we don't have stalkers, like nobody wants to fuck me, so I think that that's it. <laughs> Man, that's a word bad. I've heard. But do you have to deal with other people that like want to get your? No one wants to fuck me. <laughs> Well, I'm like, are people I think people want to fuck you, but but I think the fact that we're married and have a kid right. yeah. makes the but people get weird. obsessed with you know you can't control when someone is obsessed. And but I'm not a heartthrob. Like there's like these single yeah. men and women who yeah. are like heartthrobs right. and they play up into that angle. So yeah. I think that's another angle that's yeah. probably creepy. I definitely am glad that I'm not like you a young. You're, I think you're a heartthrob. I but you're married. Like that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think people think I'm... You never had it. That's, I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would stalk you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's not... Yeah, I was... To, I, the only people that would stalk him are going to be, like, kids that are, like... Science nerds. Yeah. yeah, it's never really... <laughs> it's, it's not... It's always just kind of, like... Like, we've actually seen kids sort of approach the house, too, and they almost, like, realize at that point, like, oh, this is not a good idea. I've gone too far. Like, they realize what they've done, and they realize, they start to get those feelings of, like, I'm approaching a stranger, when they start thinking about, like, how am I going to, like, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? What yeah. Am I gonna... And they're yeah. like, actually, this is a bad idea. And they I think the it. only people that have actually approached the house, ring the doorbell or whatever, come to the house to talk to me, are people who are not, I don't mean this as an insult, but it's just an observation. It kind of has to be true is that they have some kind of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something, some kind of, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or they're really young. That was sort of like the one. Like some sort of like mental really health young. issues. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I, w- I would say. Or they uh, don't think that that's a strange. Mm-hmm. I, I think I maybe. think a lot of them have some some level of autism mm-hmm. where they don't understand. They, they can't put the. Yeah. Like, they're, they're not understanding the social cues right. of like, exactly. oh, this is an okay to do Yeah, that. exactly. Because they'll, they'll come up to you and they're super nice and they act like they don't understand any, that anything's wrong with this. Right. And they're really nice. Right. Kind of like a kid. Like when a kid does like they don't get a lot of. But stuff. it's like, dude, you know, it's like. Right. Cool to meet you, but like you know you can't do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and you, then, you ever feel like people are kind of like like someone's looking at you from the corner, like if you're at the grocery store? Yeah, always. And it's always, like, always. Are they like, do I smell bad or do they? Like, no, <laughs> they know who you are. I'm yeah. up to you. And, you know, sometimes it's just like random. You like they have no idea. It just you had like a weird feeling for some reason. Or you go to they like VidCon, although it got canceled in world. Oh, I've never. Here. You went uh, to VidCon. We've yeah. gone, oh. and I get really um, hounded because. They won't want to necessarily go to him because especially if he's doing something or they can see and I'm kind of standing, you know, I'm like, I'm the wife, clearly. That's fine. Like, shit with me yeah. and, mm-hmm. and all this stuff. And they're like, oh, you know, 21 questions about William. You know, uh, I have to be really careful. Uh, Again, I have so to be scary, super she's not careful. used to that because like, it's, it's like you're just normal people. But when you're concentrated yeah. like in an area that's Because they want to know like. like as a child and da, 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 and all, as a child? all, like, oh, all these questions and you know it's super like genuine that what they want to know but then you're like oh this is a lot and it's of very, information you're asking so then you have to skirt the oh it's very unusual you feel rude when you're like hey I can't right. I can't tell you that right. Yeah. right but you never would do that in your normal day life it's very right. strange yeah. well, cause she, like she's not like been trained to like put the walls up kind of to yeah. like mm-hmm. protect or be careful of like what and I think I've gotten like you get used to it as, right. but again it's like it's not like it, you make your first YouTube video and it happens overnight it's a very gradual and slow thing and mm-hmm. yeah. we, we don't go to, we used to go to one grocery store and that was like every time guaranteed we went yeah. there every single that was, time it was always pleasant experiences it was though. always positive yeah. but I mean, I scream at William a lot when he's doing stupid things, which is very often. Are you? So, like, oh. In public, people are like, oh, my gosh. Like, really? <laughs> I, awesome. If he's doing something, I mean, I'm just like. like in the shopping cart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, show. stop it. Like, William, <laughs> get off and get the whatever. Have we ever had a fight? We've had a f- maybe a couple times fights in public, but I think we're both very aware of, like, we can't. Yeah, we gotta th- we gotta yeah. keep this together it for now. Once and yeah. I told you, I said you can't do that right now. Yeah, just keep it together. <laughs> we're at the park, we're doing that. Yeah, and I was probably mad at you for a very valid you reason. Up, idiot. Yeah. I probably did something, but I was like, you can't. Yeah, but yeah. just pull it together. Yeah. For and he's like, like there's fear mm-hmm. and they have cameras. Yeah. And like, <laughs> no, I know. We'll you get don't... in the car yeah. and then we'll talk to you. Just yell at me in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hold it. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, thank God that we're here. He's like, let me run out of the car and go to the safety of these people. I'm like, you we need are, car- guys uh, like us need carers. Yes. Oh my God. You have no idea. I would, I, I'm not a very responsible adult. I get about. I, there's, the I have no I visual cue that, that would lead me to believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of, nothing I about you that would lead me to believe that. And I deal that. with the consequences. <laughs> yeah. he, okay. So he's a responsible adult in 
the, in certain things. Like, he's really responsible with finances. Like, even, like, before he too, like, he would take care of our taxes. Like, he's really responsible with, like, certain specific That's things. That's a good one. So it's a really like good he's one. He's completely yeah. irresponsible. Mm-hmm. He's really. I won't do my laundry though. Yeah, I'll just that, let it. But that, 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 that's build. just different it's levels of 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 care. Yeah. yeah. Like I will go until I'm out of underwear. Yeah. yeah well, exactly. Hila doesn't find when that acceptable. When we first started yeah, dating, he would right. go yeah. to the inside out. Yeah. And pull underwear. Like that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. For a reason. To me, that's fine. But I like legitimately have obsessive compulsive disorder, and like that. Hence, like I have a therapist. You think it's not okay for me to wear the same? It is not. It's the straight. things that will give me anxiety is like I don't even you ever ask your him to do it. Not on purpose. It's never gonna <laughs> happen. The smartest yeah, to we'll see. Mm. I think Ela came just to that. I do all the cleaning because it has to be done the way that I need it to be yeah. to control my anxiety. Yeah. And so he's like, she is like a great. like a different awesome. level of like. But it works. Really why don't you well. get a cleaner? But we come we, to we, agreements we, together because yeah. there was a time when like I wasn't working as much, so I was cool doing it. But then. Now I work a yeah. lot, so I'm right. like, well, fuck that. I'm not doing it either. Well, we yeah. just got a cleaner. So, right. yeah. Because I was never going to wash dishes to the level that I should. Right. I just, I can't do it. I hate it. Yeah. I just throw them in the dishwasher. I just yeah. throw them out He's by new ones. He'll put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> He'll put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. But the thing and is, you got to rinse. put in the dishwasher. Oh, he just leaves in the sink. Well, not, well, get that. With, with, if I ask hey. him to empty the dishwasher, <laughs> he'll either be, like, never. it could be, okay. Or he'll be like, I'll do it, but just don't, I can't tell you when. And I'm like, well... You know, but but like my I'll do it OCD later in the day, is, not immediately. Like, uh, is very yeah. How often do you have a cleaner? Uh, we at the the L.A. house, we were rent uh, we were renting the house and we were hiring a cleaner because it, it was. I saw her in the background living. of the Roomba video. Yeah, they were <laughs> absolutely mortified. Um, <laughs> She's like, I have to clean that. Yeah, shit up. well, we we actually did most because the <laughs> carpet did. we bought a piece of yeah. carpet, so the yeah. carpet was just sitting there, but it did leak through a little bit. Oh, I also let the carpet sit there for like a month outside, not in the house, outside and with all jello like, on it. With, uh, pudding, pudding, yeah, and bro. it was all kind of, oh. it was rotten, and I couldn't That's fit it. Fucking I couldn't horrid, fit it in the trash bro. can by myself because it was too heavy, and so I ended up having to like cut it up so I could fold it to fit it in the oh trash can. <laughs> like all like the mold. Was, That's like, disgusting. <laughs> like I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thrown this I away don't immediately. Have to deal with that because that doesn't like it's not in the house. It's but, not. Yeah. Yeah. They that at that place because Michael and I were living there. Yeah. And and Michael is does not clean anything, and so it was like we have to hire cleaners because I, I don't want to do and it. I, didn't I really don't want her to be like. Hesitant. You've got to get a clean. That to me is like I, yeah, one of the first is. most necessary luxuries you can get yeah. when you're successful. I think it's but that me, that is time much better. I'm still spent. gonna right. clean after a cleaner. So that's oh, that's your because problem. Because I have, yeah. but, but that's because it's yeah. something that yeah. I. Oh my god. But would it help you at all or not? Um, certain things like so. What if you could teach? to clean we, like you clean. Yeah, like, like it'd have to be like a shadowing. There's certain things I don't, like I really enjoy cleaning because it's an anxiety You reducing. enjoy cleaning? Yeah, uh, I do. And I have wow. since I was little. Wow. It's an anxiety yeah. reducing behavior for me. So there are certain things I don't like though. Like I don't like cleaning baseboards. I don't really particularly like I don't think I've baseboards? ever cleaned a baseboard. What even? I don't even know what that is. What are we floor? talking about? <laughs> the base, like. Oh my God. Oh, those? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. 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 Yeah. To clean those? <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't. So, baseboards. <laughs> what do you like cleaning? <laughs> What's Everything your favorite? but baseboards. <laughs> What's your favorite cleaning supplies? <laughs> I saw. Lysol. Like I love spraying lights. You like the wipes. <laughs> I like she the wipes. Loves. The wipes I use in the bathroom every day. <laughs> I just that I have issues. So besides, she uses the Clorox wipes now. So besides, well, I'm in therapy, okay? Wait, besides the <laughs> uh, okay. baseboards, what do you not like? <laughs> so there's just some things like I'm not a huge fan of mopping. Mm-hmm. I do it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So I'm like, I could have someone do that. Someone could mop? Yeah, sure. certain things. Yeah, but absolutely. I'm still the kind of pro- I'm still going to clean every day. I'm not going to deep clean every day, but have a cleaner I'm every day. still going to clean every day. Even with work and everything? Yeah. We have because a cleaner for every me, day. It's, it's like the act reducing. of doing it. What about yeah. so which ones do you like? Cleaning? Uh, so I really like I love vacuuming, hmm. well, but I yeah. have to, she, no, you have to dust only first when I'm, like, and on then the phone, vacuum. <laughs> oh, I know. It's like the phone comes up, boom, vacuum comes up. So you have to dust first. <laughs> I love like that, like, you know, where you're cleaning something and you see something dirty and then it's clean. So I love cleaning the bathroom. Huh. I love cleaning the bathroom. Do you clean the wow. toilet? Yeah. You like it? Scrubbing the toilet. And what about like the behind the toilet? Yep. Wow. What about like the whole toilet below? Like well, what the the about like do you ever see piss around the toilet? No. I do a pretty good job. He's I know really I'll good. Because he knows. Well, what about when he was living with other dudes? 
Did you clean their piss? Oh, he's clean would, because of me. Yeah, I would. He I, knows. I, we had our own bathroom, and he knew you how know, to. You got to do. What you got to do. Yeah, he yeah. knows that it's like. I was gonna build me, a thing that detected piss on the seat and then blasted the toilet. <laughs> <before I'm laughs> but he knows that for me, like me, my cleaning stuff isn't because I'm like wanting to be controlling. It's like it's something that I've you been dealing with do. my whole yeah. life. Yeah. Um, and you know, I didn't do therapy my whole life for mm-hmm. it and stuff, but after the fire, my anxiety, like, mm-hmm. hit oh, yeah. all oh my God. High. So I started seeing a therapist for the fire cause I had really bad PTSD and then work, I started finally like acknowledging and working on mm-hmm. the OCD. So That's for me, good. it's an anxiety. I feel like, control. I feel like it was a combination of the fire plus immediately moving into a motor home. <laughs> yeah. We also had, <laughs> God, that was not luxurious. <laughs> no. Yeah. And not only uh. a motor home, but a motor home. On the property of my in-laws. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's that's brutal. And sharing, we were sharing. There was a bathroom. It was his mother, his sister, William, and I in one bathroom. Whoa, dude. And then his dad was in another bathroom. So, so we would like try was, to eat food at night, and it had to be super quiet because it's like you know, you're it's a it's a motorhome. Like it's the table and then the bed right there, and I'd be like like. Eating a cracker, but like letting it sit in my mouth for, like, <laughs> to get less crunchy, so that I could like I chew it without work. waking her up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, so. man, that that you that's a wild been shit. Through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, having your house burned down is not a uh, experience yeah. most people. We haven't yeah. lived yeah. in a place yeah. for more than one year since the house burned since, down. Since yeah, we just like every at the end of a lease, it's like the, the last place they said they weren't going to renew the lease yeah. with us, mm. and then they immediately rented it for mo- like twenty percent more money yeah. after we left. They just I don't even know if that's legal. Huh. Um, and yeah, then, probably. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think it might depend on where it is. Would you have paid 20% more if they asked you? No. No. Not for that place. Mm-mm. There was just other like other issues and things going on with yeah. it. Yeah. And so we've just been like, boop, boop, boop. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys should get a cleaner every every weekday. I think it's a good idea. I'm still gonna clean <laughs> every, every oh, day. No, but, but you gotta. But well, if you if it's something that yeah. is therapeutic for you, then yeah, because you know. it does it actually make gotta, you feel better. But if there's things yeah. that I also that annoy would never you. let anyone do my laundry. I have oh, really, really severe issues uh. with that because as a like I had laundry stolen as a kid. He's laundry mats. Uh, yeah, and then I also, you know, like people like messing up your clothes or like shrinking it or like you know, I know how to take care. His stuff, you, I could care less about. Hawk. But my thing is, it's like, <laughs> Tumble. okay, I don't want my sweater to be, you know, shrunk. I got that. I mean, but these 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 cleaners, they know what they're doing, man. It would be a long process for me to gain trust. Okay, because of, I I understand. But but at the other, I mean, like the the house where you know the science house, I'm like all for it because I. Don't want to clean it's up after project. other people. Mm, yeah. yeah, I my own, but you know, our house when it's messy is like nothing because of my standards. Of, yeah, like everything. That's is a so good mom clean quality. By organized. The way. I mean, it's pretty glorious. Clean mom's like, rule. Yeah, I feel like we both have and my class sort of the enough same way and that, like like it works well. Like I sort of do a lot of stuff, but I'm a little bit messier. I feel like we have the then, exact same dynamic. Yeah. Although yeah. I thrive off of organization and structure. Like for me. Yeah, I think. I think Ela too, and I'm just a, sl- a lazy fucking slob, dude. Yeah. Just like, chaos. I'm just chaos. Yeah. Embrace the chaos. Ela, well, Ela is like tendency. bottled the chaos. Yeah. You, know you gotta, I mean? you gotta have the balance. If you don't have that yeah. balance, things yeah. just go all in one I'll direction. I never forget when I first came to your apartment, and Ethan just all of his clothes were just in a pile on the floor. You know what's crazy? In a pile on the side Wrong, of his bed. Like, I got a, I got a little, 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 <laughs> Just like, you know crazy to me, like a laundry pile that someone like <laughs> did all that. Mine would go between the bed and the wall. The I would floor. shove it in like that. Because I, I would yeah, wash it. That was it. all of his clothes. I would wash it and then I would so dump gross. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I didn't want to fold it. But you know what's crazy to me is that I didn't get rid of that in preparation for you coming. <laughs> yeah. You that's weren't that's like, oh, I didn't get rid What did you get rid of before she came? What was like the worst thing Oh, I think the, oh, we were moving out. Out. That's why it was such you a mess. You were moving out. Yeah, we were moving out. It looked like. But the second time you came, Ela, my room was clean. Don't lie about it. I don't remember. Wait, the yes. Wait. When, when you came and I was staying in my own room, in that big house. The room. The <laughs> yeah, you know, by the Santa Cruz diner. <laughs> the whole situation On the was traumatizing. Floor? Yeah, she's just like. That's wiped where it. you had the pile of clothes. Oh, oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about the other house. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess it wasn't clean. 
<laughs> no, William, hands are on the side yeah, of the bed. Yeah, under the bus. <laughs> <and it's laughs> oh, I think I sh- did. I shove it all in the closet. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it was still on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I shoved it in the closet so she wouldn't see. It. That's exactly what I would do. <laughs> no, yours was shoved behind your bed. Like oh, his yeah. bed was behind up against the, the wall, and there was because there was stuff in the closet. I don't even think I used the closet. I didn't. No, his closet had like science stuff in it. Like like yeah. Science stuff is messy. You want a good closet story? Sure. <laughs> when we were in the motorhome, I uh, we used a, oh, a shower okay. for storage, yeah. like clothes and stuff like that. So yeah. it was basically a closet. Mm-hmm. Because well, motorhomes have no space to keep clothes, and I'm like, I'm a teacher. I have to look nice every day, mm-hmm. and I can't wear the same mm-hmm. thing. So we used the bathroom and the sink in that motorhome because it was a pain in the butt to go down to my parents' house because we were like kind of up on the hillside. Um, and we didn't have any drainage for it. And so we'd have to drive the motorhome across town down to like uh, oh Harbor to dump it. And so we would do this like once a month. We pushed no, it a little bit too far. Was it more? We pushed it a little bit too hard mm. and it started backing up into the shower. Oh, it's we worse. We were, we were in Texas visiting oh, so my grandparents. So we were gone for a week. And didn't know that had happened. So the used gray water was slowly filling up the bottom of the shower with all of our stuff in. <gasps> so wait, was there? There wasn't like feces or urine. No, the gray water is like the sink water. The so black just, water is the the poopy water. So so it doesn't sound that dirty if you just wash your hands in it. Ooh, it was. It's like disgusting. dishes, really? and yeah. so we you know, oh, think about you brush your teeth uh, when you're washing dishes. Um, but it like gets like really nasty, uh, like and it that sit- got all over you. Yeah, all, so, yeah. So then, again? so the fire so, like, happened, and I yeah. lost. You know, you know, it's like it's stuff. It flooded you know, your trailer, it. but then it, it flooded the shower that had like my, all my shoes and like. Yeah. There was basically like like five or six so inches of standing water, and like she had a pair clothes. of like Uggs, like boots, and it was completely like Uggs, and I had like how like it's other like running shoes, like all. You're like, you can't clean that. You just throw it away. And there were some sweaters and yeah. It was just, it was so fun. It was like, yay. Gray water. so fun. Don't live in a motorhome. So have you just been become like a guru that doesn't care about any belongings now? Because you've just like. No, I think I appreciate things more. So I remember like, you know, you have like the thing like, oh, this is a special thing and you need to keep it safe. Like, or, you know, like my grandma had given me her pearls from when she was 18. And I was always so afraid to wear them so often because I'm like, these are from my grandma and these are old and I, I love them and I appreciate them but I was afraid to wear stuff because I'm like I don't want to ruin it mm-hmm. and then they burned and you're like mm. well how Never stupid I mean I wore I mean I, I wore them for some really special occasions like I, I, I wore those for my graduation I wore those on our wedding day you know things like that like I have memories and pictures but um, it made me go like if you're not going to get used out of something and you're not going to enjoy it then what's the point of having it so mm-hmm. it made me more appreciative of the things that I have and more selective like when I get things like is this gonna actually make me happy makes you realize a lot of stuff doesn't matter and then a lot of things don't matter and the things that did I wish that I would have not been so careful with them Mm -hmm. and and same thing with like my mother-in-law she after because their house was you know close to burning and my father-in-law saved it um the same thing. She's like, you know, these things that I had put away, these precious family heirlooms. She's like, I need these out and displayed because what's the point? Mm. It also makes you realize that you want to have all your documents in one place, easy mm. to grab. Mm. Do we have that deal? Sort of. Sort of. Because <laughs> it's a pain yeah, to replace. Yeah, we had to get everything. We had just everything. gotten our passports. Like, we had just rushed our passports because we had done it late. Certificates, passports. And we had to do it all. Dude, you know, it, our, every, it was like mm. social Literally security everything. cards, yeah. passports, oh. marriage certificates. Oh. We got to um, all of that. That's good advice. Yeah. So yeah. to have it a tax return, I mean, that's probably the most important thing because that will save you actually weeks of mm-hmm. like just stress. Mm. Down yeah. The road, yeah, and then money too. Like for our passports, I I was on the phone with them, and a lot of them they did it for free because of the fire and natural disaster. Passports, they were like, mm, nope, you, you have to pay. And I was about to go to Europe to see my cousin. And so I'm like, I need my passport, and I need it in three weeks. They're so like, okay, so you have to pay to expedite. I'm like, but it burned. Last week, like it, I didn't lose it, it burned. So mm-hmm. I really had to pay that. And they're like, They don't care. We don't, you're like, like, Fuck you. This is yeah. the fee. And you're like, <laughs> I just lost everything. And I just want to go. I was still, you know, my cousin's like, You can cancel. I'm like, No, I want to go see you because like, I live in a motor home <laughs> now. <laughs> this is gray water. This is uh, my motor home. You <laughs> bitch. Stinky water. Yeah. Um, and then going everywhere, I was like, Okay, I was calling people because I was going to Europe and it was cold. And like, <clears throat> Who could let me borrow a jacket? Who can? Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't have time to go find this stuff, let alone, you know, it was just, yeah. it was more the, 
psychological too. Like it was hard to have to admit that you had to replace things. Mm. Yeah. Like I'll just borrow it from someone because I still have that theoretically. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Weird. But yeah. You want some Arby sauce? No, I do not. <laughs> so well, no, I would like to close this episode with you taking a bite of the meat mountain in your pocket. <laughs> well, <laughs> good news is it's easily accessible. It's so probably like this hotter. It's been than in there for like two in. hours or hour and a half oh for God. sure. It's warm. Only is it warm? Side, one side's cold, <laughs> the other side's warm. <laughs> Oh. oh, there's something else I want to discuss with you before okay. before we end this. Before or after? Uh, you can <laughs> go for it. Ew, what did you... Wait, let me get a look at that before you go in. Kind of shiny. Oh, man. It looks like there's horsey sauce on it, but there's not. There now is, there probably. Is. There is now, but I think that's just straight up rot. <laughs> still smells like a sandwich. Oh. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Is it Garbage. everything you hoped it would be? <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> oh, come it's on, so William. Good. Back in the pocket, baby, William. for later. <laughs> it's so good. Um, uh, <laughs> Oliver <laughs> Tree. Oliver Tree broke the coughing beanie. Oh, he did. Can you diagnose the issue? It got dropped many, many times. Oh yeah, very floppy. Oh, that's Maria <laughs> a too. Lot of moving parts okay, so <laughs> the the hair cutting. You got <laughs> that from her. The girl who used to cut his hair, he uh, asked, hey, oh, you have like a... She hooked up it up with yeah. the mannequin? So what's the problem here? Um, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's... Uh, it's smashed, it looks like. Well, actually... <laughs> I remember those zip ties. <laughs> I don't really need that in there anymore. What was that for? <laughs> the micro or the speaker. Mm. That's a fan. It's so good. Because the fan was to put to the smoke through. Right, we don't need oh, that. The speaker's probably just Ethan, dead. is that you? Uh -huh. Just hitting the soundboard? Garbage. Garbage. I can't believe it still works. How is that possible? That thing's been there for like... It's supposed to be charged. For uh, years. It's been off. It's just AA batteries. This this wow. has to be recharged though I think I don't uh, know exactly. Yeah, because I never figured out how to. Well, I didn't figure. I just didn't even try to figure out how to power it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so all you got to do is charge that. Huh. That's it. Yeah. Epic. Wait, but so, I mean, we just assumed it was. Yeah, we assumed it was broken because it was all like. I mean, it's a little bit broken, but yeah. like the stuff's just like flopping about. But it's yeah, he the was worst. wearing it, and it and it fell off and took. Yeah, a I mean, like all this fall. stuff was part of the smoke, which I took out because I didn't want to burn your guys's office. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> um, but other than that, it just I think this is probably. So bad. what do we need okay. to do to, to operate it again? Just charge that. Charge I mean, there's the just speaker. it's just a switch. Right. Is it double A's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. But this already works. And then that's just dead, and then you just plug that in, and then this plays the sound okay, over the speaker. Great. So we, cool. we can make a comeback on. Yeah. Yeah, it's go. going. That's amazing. It's kicking. It works. Yeah, it's kicking. Yeah. This is back when I used to make science videos. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, that, <laughs> no, you finished filming that at when we lived in the hotel. Yeah, this is right when the house burned down. Yeah, yeah, and then it was in the hotel. Look at this thing go, man. Is it just two? No, it's well, not. Well, that needs to be charged. charged, like plugged oh, these in. Are just these these yeah. batteries are still kicking. Oh, yeah. We don't even need to replace yeah, the batteries. Good. Yeah. Well, well, well. That's exciting. Well, uh, William Osman, Crabs and Science. Yeah. Yeah. On Twitter. Mm hmm. You're trying to get William Osman. Yeah, the guy. Uh, but I like crap. He said he would, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't really like the idea of someone else having my name. <laughs> yeah, fuck that right. guy. But, You're crabs and So He was willing to give it to me, but then I'm sitting there. Do I change it? Oh, he was? Yeah. Hmm. Because he, uh, he got it because of me. I would change it. Then if you I would change it. Yeah, yeah. I, would so? change. I mean, okay. crabs and science is great, it's just but I would change it. easier to find. You right, know, and I'm not you know? verified now, so it's like it's probably yeah. smarter. On, is this on Twitter? Twitter, yeah. So, uh, William Osman. On on YouTube, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. channel. That's the thing. Yeah. That's yeah. And TikTok. Dude, don't worry about the TikTok. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> are you allowed to to um? Are you allowed to say bad things about TikTok? I don't think they care. They don't. Even, they just they want the fight. videos. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's. Oh, they're it, watching. Yeah. I they're mean, it's like watching. it is what it is. It's just. Yeah. It's just probably not like something that you would really spend too much time with. You know, in the big picture, mm. what what's more 
What's what's your time better? YouTube. Y- YouTube. Yeah. Not, not. Can I TikTok. pitch you ideas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have any. Oh. <laughs> we just recorded a like a Discord game show where we did that. We had people give us their invention ideas. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a great. That's cool. yeah. It was a total shit show. Yeah, I was wondering, <laughs> did you get any good ideas? Yes. Yeah. Actually, a lot of did, really yeah. bad ideas, but there were a couple ideas that were just like good. Like one was this like uh, inflatable pregnancy sweater so that you could like go on like public transit and people would feel bad and give up their seat for you. So you like get oh. you inflate it and then you get on and you're like either, I mean if you're a guy that you is look fat. Interesting. Um yeah. One that was like makes you taller. It's got like leg extenders, <laughs> make you as tall as the person you're talking to, so it can like see how tall they are and try to. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds expensive. Yeah. No, I mean it wouldn't be too bad. I don't think. Mm. What's a good uh, TikTok look. idea? Um, I, I do. See, that's the thing is, I don't know. So well, if you fart one... in a jar and seal it, how long does the methane? How long does the stay methane in the stay in, stay active? It would probably stay in there for a long time. Because because you <laughs> so you should do one where it's like one day later. One mm-hmm. week later, one month. How do you like keep like fart consistency though? <laughs> I can just eat. You just e- keep eating the same thing. You're gonna like, eat days. those. You, yeah, you think the animals. input matters? Yeah. Because I would think that the output doesn't vary that much in terms of the gas. Yeah, but if it, like you know, I mean, you <laughs> it's science. Tell right. me your farts don't smell different every time. The some, smell is sometimes different. Sometimes they smell like but... trash. Sometimes they smell like a rotting corpse. <laughs> <laughs> All good <Garfic>. things. <laughs> hard, you know, how do you tell? All right. Well, I, I'm following. <laughs> on, I am. Fo- note. <laughs> I am following you on TikTok. You are. <laughs> yes. You have a TikTok. I am. I am. Uh, I have a viewer. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I just. I just want to know what's going on right. there, and f- and somehow you're one of the first channels I stumbled across, and I started following all these. I think they might channels. be promoting the science channels, mm. so I can't even I, tell people actually want to watch the videos if they're doing it artificially. Because I've <laughs> just somehow found all these science shows, but I actually like them. I think they're interesting. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. better than teenage girls dancing? Yeah, yeah, I agree. correct. And that's that's my problem. Is like you know the vast majority of what's on there is teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten to that portal somehow. I, uh, I don't know. It's... I think you have to take some actions to end up there. <laughs> uh-uh. No? No. <laughs> because I haven't seen it. I, I don't see that many. I see lots of science, and I see lots of pranks, and I see lots of... I mean, you of... don't spend a lot of time on it, though. Well, you would think enough where I would see an underage girl... Uh... <laughs> What's with the... How is there a platform, literally, that just serves you underage girls dressed I'm in little clothing? Willingly. That's the whole fucking platform, dude. That's uh, crazy. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's fucking I, crazy. I don't know. Think about that. I feel like last I saw, they weren't in bikinis. Is that like a new development? Yeah. I think they've generally... Right? Because yeah. in the beginning, it was more about the dance. Right. Oh, uh, Zach just said mm-hmm. the biggest TikToker is 16 years old. Really? What's her name, Zach? I said uh, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. She's, Demar- yeah, the Emilio. The Marshmallow. Or, well, her name is Charlie? C-H-A-R-L-I. But it started with when it was musically. It was really about. Wait, this girl's sixteen years yeah, old. And then mm-hmm. TikTok. Mm-hmm. Was She's like she. I feel so bad for her too. I see all sorts of stuff. Wait, on Wait, is there twins? Do, or is that was that a weird girl. meme? Oh, because they look like identical. Or I guess not. They look different. I just saw her post on Twitter the other day about she's like she's sixteen uh, and she's number one. Yeah, she's like sixty million followers or something. Like that. Wow. And so, uh, yeah, and so like she's like. Not wearing a lot of clothes. No, she's actually not so bad. <laughs> but it's a lot of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is <laughs> very provo- provocative. Yeah, very yeah. provocative. Not sixteen acting. It's like so you're much. It's much like older. it's very like just. And then so people treating pressure, you like, like you're very older. yeah, and people being very judgmental and you sort mm-hmm. of like I seen on Twitter I think just the other day she's complaining about people. Uh, like, yeah, I know I'm boring because people were like commenting on a live stream she had done on TikTok. Or, oh, she does the same thing. Like, she just makes the same sounds and this and that. And they're like, just like roasting and like yeah. being mean. And it's she's like, 16. she's 16 years old. She's like, who knows, you know, been like propelled by this platform, you know. Yeah. Dude, I'm an old ass man and that should still. Yeah. It breaks my heart. Or the worst thing that can happen to you as a yeah. teenager is to become really famous. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I genuinely think most people would think that I'm just being. Stupid, like people are not receptive to this, but becoming famous can be the worst thing that happens a lot of times to mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. I think, especially depending on how old you are, and then, then what are your circumstances and how you deal with it, and how your family and all of that. I think really it's similar to you know just social media in general, like what it does to your brain is it just it mm-hmm. messes mm-hmm. with how you operate on a day to day basis. You know, like yeah. you're either like afraid of people or like constantly paranoid or you know mm-hmm. just that you're like like what 
rewards you get from interacting with people may change and you like you're less likely to interact with your old friends because mm. you don't feel as important as like your new mm. more mm-hmm. famous friends kind of thing you know what are you guys going to be eating for dinner what am i going to be eating for dinner meat mountain leftovers probably leftover meat mountain yeah no. is that enough to tie you He's over probably going to want to have you seen this thing because I- yeah, I mean, yeah, I ate most of it already. <laughs> I can, I got through like half of but it. But I'm wondering, you, you can, did not get through half of it. One. Is he really gonna eat that? I he's a yeah. wild card. If he could That's either, if, crazy. He, I probably if he feels it. bad, he might not. But if he doesn't feel it's too, not I'm not gonna eat it in one sitting. Yeah, but I'm, that's I what I mean. Like, but I'm saying if like we were like fuck? leaving and you started going, ooh, my stomach's feeling bad. No, you might not. Bro, you can't safely transport that from your pocket and then you have to drive back to. It's just gonna <laughs> stay in my pocket until I get it out next and eat it. <laughs> that's not. I'm gonna sanitary. not encourage it, but I can't force him to do anything. But that's enough food for you to type because you're like a skinny you yeah, fit. Thank you. Just one meat mountain. He that's gained weight enough. during that's, COVID. It's got to be like 2,000 calories. In I mind. know, but I'm just telling you, I can't just be satisfied with one meat mountain. You need two meat mountains? No, I need some. I'm done pizza. with the meat mountain. Well, <laughs> meat like, I want yeah, to eat pizza. normal food. So. <laughs> look, how, look, how, look how, like, embarrassed you are for me. It makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sick. I mean, you are, you know, a little bit chunkier than you were on the first podcast. The very first podcast? Yeah. What was that for? I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Too much meat. What's your point? William I'm not, gained I'm weight during saying. quarantine, though. He actually did. He gained like over ten pounds. Hey. Did he lose it? Nope. No, I'm gonna yeah, make an invention to help. Fuck. Me. He hasn't. I'm gonna make an invention that makes it harder for me to eat the more I eat. Even his mom. Oh, so it. you're dieting right now? That's why you're limiting yourself to one. Well, meat not mountain. dieting. He's not dieting or exercising. <laughs> <laughs> why you look at me like Wait, that? Wait, is it a problem if he gets fat for you? No, but I just don't want him to like get diabetes or have a heart attack. <laughs> that's what the, that's what you girls say, but I just don't think. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with not finding me attractive as a fat man. <laughs> I don't, but I I don't okay. think he Batman. looks different. But it's, I also believe you don't want him. He to brings it up. Yeah. He's like, I gained weight, and he told me, I'm like, no, you didn't. Yeah, it's Except depressing. On the scale, and I'm like, but you, oh, it's you did. not fun. You like run it's out depressing. of breath. It's depressing. I know. You it's, can't run around and um, with it, or you like get tired. You know. Yeah, yeah that's not, when, when not I, just that's a good look. I, I know. <laughs> okay. It's about longevity. Okay. Like, I want you to be around for a long time. <laughs> so, if you eat, by the way, you're in day, great shape. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Don't say anything. If you eat meat mountain every day, you will not be <laughs> in shape. Just let I can the man, like barely get let him to go on a walk his pocket week. meat. Exactly. Versus, like, I run and I do work out, like, do cardio. I do everything, strength training. And he's like, I, I'll go on maybe one walk. And usually it's, like, yeah. food involved. Once you look, I was going to say, <laughs> once you look like me, then. I mean, uh, that's a journey, though. I yeah. don't know. But it happens. I, I, I feel like I mean, I'm no at one in his family. Now, like, I've been able, like, been lucky to just stay skinny sometimes. Yeah, everyone happens, in his family is very I feel like I'm at slender. that point now where I'm really? just going, I have to be more careful, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know anyone that, like, really. And even your dad, like, it, when he thinks he's a little bit overweight, it's like it's still, no one will look at that and go, oh, he's overweight. It's just, for the record, though, I just want to say I did not eat, finish my meat mountain. <laughs> and Ela did promise me something in return for throwing it out. So, but you're going to try to spin this like you do really need pizza but just remember i could have finished that meat mountain <laughs> what is the point that you're trying to i just want to it's for you any yeah it's for you for pinning this conversation for later when i say it's time to make mistakes and then you fight me I, on that. No, but you, you wanted it yet. <laughs> I, I still want it okay but you guaranteed me safe passage <laughs> <laughs> the pizza challenge. Yeah, That's, he's gonna get like meat lovers. I don't want to pay any tariffs on this fucking trap. Argument that you're making here, Ethan. We can get Mexican. You want Mexican? Friday. Is that I like prefer you, anything you over Friday? pizza? Yeah, every Friday we go because we have the podcast and we always go. Let's get fucking Mexican food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, what Bruh. the fuck do you want? <laughs> Eli you doesn't ever want to eat anything. It's just so annoying. You just want Italian food. Who cares? <laughs> you, like, you like pasta? Yeah. It's I boring. Don't. But it, yeah, it's so like, fucking boring. Well, he hates pasta. Like, thank you. I feel it's, like I'm the only person that doesn't like it. It's, it's, it's not fine. bad. It's just so fuck like okay noodles and sauce pizza. noodles and sauce yeah. noodles and sauce lasagna is the most oh, exciting hold on let's put some green peas in it okay that didn't make a big fucking difference 
<sighs> Noodles made, and sauce. I made like a, a <laughs> penne pasta with like the Beyond Meat. Like a baked one. You liked that. I mean, yeah, but at the same time. It's like, just pasta. It's pasta, yeah. Thank you. You liked it? Though? I did like it. It's just pasta. But if I had a choice. I would honestly eat almost anything other than pasta. It's a so travesty. It's William boring. hates spaghetti specifically. Spaghetti? I fucking hate spaghetti, really? dude. That's crazy that we have that same. My mom just made spaghetti all I the time. I hate spaghetti. When I was a kid, and I... and the noodles are she annoying to eat. False, it's messy. Yeah. It's it doesn't to, like, really even. It, it doesn't really even absorb the sauce. Yeah. It's just like you're eating worms. How are you gonna hey, talk about I've that? But to... you have no problem eating meat more than. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> that shit does not function. <laughs> Dude, did you see how dynamic and it complex meat mountain is? Yeah. Pasta Dude, has. There yeah. was so. Do I need to pull up the list of ingredients again? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? But I've learned a comedy, it's a culinary like, masterpiece. He doesn't like spaghetti, so I don't force it, and I don't be like, "Well, I'm gonna like we're gonna have this." So be yeah, respectful. I'm not to saying me. that you're oh, crazy. I he ate it. it. He I ate. I, I, he if ate I your pit. shitty Beyond Meat. I'm just kidding. He, loved it. <laughs> he had seconds. It was yeah. actually. It was actually. It was really yeah. But I like Beyond Meat. I still think pasta, you know, in general. In general, we're picking like the hierarchy pasta, of food. Like, you know what? Sometimes to... I like I like gnocchi when it's done really well. Mm, I like that too. Because it's kind of interesting. It's fluffy. It's, it's unique. Different. It has character. Yeah. Like right. Dumpling. Gabiche. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hungry, but not for like anything. I have some. We've been talking I have about. meat mountain in my pocket. <laughs> he has food on him. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. in his beard. We should go to a dog park. Can we go to a dog park? No. That meat mountain in my pocket. Like bite you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, you would fuck that whole park up. <laughs> people are like, do you have a fuck? And imagine people's reaction when you They're pull like, that out. Why did you come here Just with that? Like, get your dog <laughs> away from me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me to enjoy my lunch. Oh, All right. Bro. Well, All right. Uh, what, el- what else is there to say, really, at this point? I don't think anything. Other than, like, you know, I mean... We could Figure out like you guys want to do some stupid stuff in the future. I think you talked about the uh, Gatsby. Gatsby, yeah. You yeah. have any ideas? I mean, you, what do you want to make it do? Mm. It sounds like it already goes pretty fast. <laughs> I wonder if we could give it a speed boost for a you jump. Could make it go faster. Can we add like a button, like um, to make it go like, nitro? Boost? Yeah, nitro. You could do that. I mean, it'd be a lot of like. Seems you'd, you'd basically probably. Re- well, I don't know. Well, you'd have to see what it looks like on the inside, but I mean, you could definitely make it go faster. Hmm. What can we do? I'm think about. You like, put a rocket on it. We do not need it to go faster. It's what if, already an issue. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. So the drywall if, in our office. So you want to do something to it, says, to it, and keep it. I think we should increase its destructive force by inc- maybe <laughs> fastening weapons like a to it. Launching like, from your seat or something. Oh, you mean like it's zero to sixty? No, like t- if you're someone seated, you get them out of there. You oh, like an right ejector on. button? Yeah. <laughs> that seems dangerous. But you want to keep it at the end of the day. But you don't I don't tell care. Them. No, we it's don't destructible. Because, okay. I mean, you could make it go really fast. But someone, see, I don't want it to be dangerous. I don't want someone to necessarily die. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. But if we mount <laughs> weapons or like punching mechanism or battery uh... and see, you know, uh, Gatsby verse whatever. I bought. Um... No, never mind. I'll tell you later. Okay. But I think a Gatsby verse like concrete wall. Yeah. Gatsby verse. Just see what I just smash it. Just up the wall. yeah. Yeah. I think or plywood, drywall. Yeah. Concrete. Like what can't it destroy? Let's fucking yeah. let's let's see what where the limit like is. A, what if you get like a replica human body like the um, ballistics gel? I think that'd be fantastic. See, like like what Do would the, happen if you yes. ran into a person at full speed with the Gatsby? Like everybody's been asking. I, I think that's a really good video. Ran over a human with the Gatsby. <laughs> I think that's a really, really good idea. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I like I like that idea a lot. Like fake bones in it and just see what happens. <laughs> or be creepy I like think... William and get real bones. Yeah. Were those real bones? Yeah. You know you can buy He bought like, yeah. You can buy bones. skulls. Online. I didn't know you bought real bones. Oh. You can buy real skulls on Yeah, he he I made fake not. ones <laughs> and then he bought so I, I looked into it because we wanted both. to get Yeah. Huh. Um but yeah, it's kind of creepy. That Whose you... hand was it you bought? I have no idea. It's somebody's hand. Yeah, and it was on Amazon. How did it too. end up on it Amazon? Like yeah, you one, can buy human like... finger bones on Amazon. A whole yeah. set was a hundred bucks for the for one finger. Who's three. fucking? Who's two... That means that somebody in a mortuary is like pon- like there's, pocketing there's, bones. There's like a whole history to it. Apparently, like yeah. I looked into it. Like it's there was there were it was uh, there it was, there were problems. <laughs> it wasn't on the up and up. No, this is like everything that. And you it's can on get. Amazon. Yeah, but they're all old bones. 
Oh, okay. So you can't buy new bones. You they, can't buy them. They realized the that people were turning it too much into like a business. A business. Yeah. Profiting off yeah. of your bones. Yeah. That seems unethical. Ooh. Yes. And so, so they, let's just get the fucking yeah. old idiot. So everything that's in circulation can stay in circulation, but you cannot. <laughs> you can't get so there. There's a there's got to be quite a street value on human mm -hmm. brains. They're then. expensive. A skull is like two grand. Whoa. Yeah. He went down a rabbit hole Dude. research <laughs> during this, and I was very, very that's um, interesting. Terrified yeah. and repulsed. Yeah, I and I like I had you know. Anyways, many people told me do not buy a human skull, and so I didn't. <laughs> You did, didn't you? No, I didn't. He didn't. I did. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I got yelled at by a couple of people, yeah, so I didn't do it. including me. No, that's a little weird. Yeah. That's a little Dahmer-esque. I just thought it was insane. To own a human could buy it He just thought it was pretty insane. Yeah. Like, on Amazon? Just shocked you could buy No, it. there's different yeah. websites that like... Are they dark web or legit? They're just real websites. Isn't it like eBay? Humanremains.org? <laughs> Basically, like, I think... I want to think, like, one of them was, like, Bone Room or something, which sounds kind of... The bad. Bone Room? <laughs> yeah, well, Can you even have, be respectful to the dead? I don't think so. The Bone Room? a better name than that. Warehouse. <laughs> the bone zone. The bone zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Crazy. Uh, don't so bring fucked up. No. Well, it's been uh, such a ride. It's been a joy, and it's been a pleasure to meet both of you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm so happy out. that you came. It was very nice to have you here as well. Yeah, summer mm -hmm. break. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, officially. And um. Um, keep slamming. I really like the idea we just cooked up about the Gatsby, the destructive mm -hmm. Gatsby. Just the force of, because it, it is really a force of destruction. Yeah. So I think that would be a, a really fun video. People love destruction. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> just, it's too easy to watch. You could... Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, I, th let's fucking do it. Cool. That's the plan. Destroy things with the Gatsby. Yeah. That's very much up William's alley. <laughs> <laughs> um, just not in our house, please. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Uh, where can we do it? We'll have to. Maybe we should just. Rent. There's like a place in the desert that I like to go to. Oh, the desert's a good one. Or like a big parking lot you could find somewhere. Like just a parking lot. Yeah, Walmart parking lot. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> what bro. are we gonna do? Because <laughs> I want to mount like walls, like a drywall. Yeah, and just like. And then it. like uh -huh. a car and then like a thicker wall, like a sheet of wood. Could use the YouTube space. <laughs> You think they would let us? They, well, you sort of just got to explain what you're doing in like a more like professional scientific manner. I you mean, let that, William do the explaining. <laughs> we're going to test the <laughs> failure mode of a mobility scooter. Like we're going to crush mm -hmm. it with the gas. <laughs> <laughs> we're going <laughs> to. Don't worry. We're going to need the biggest room you have and just leave us alone. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you just crash noises. into the wall and <laughs> fucking destroy that we're place. Being safe. <laughs> oh, right. I'm looking forward to that. And congratulations on two million subbies, too, by the way. That's great. Thank you. That's I awesome. Know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's there. I didn't even know. It's great. Like, happened, whatever. So. Oh, really? That's good. <laughs> well. I'm glad. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. And uh, today's Friday, so have a great weekend. Actually, Saturday, because this comes out on Saturday, even though we're filming on Friday. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> and um, we'll be back next week. The week after that, we have Oliver Tree, right? No. No. Oh. <laughs> you keep failing on you? No. no it's just doesn't get the dates right. Mm, all right. Well, whatever. You guys will just figure it out. <laughs> well, he's uh, he gets any dates right. He's uh, a month, basically a month from today. Okay. Mid mid July is when he's coming because his oh. album was delayed. Okay. <laughs> that's well, it. That sounds great. Well, guys, that's really all there is to say, and. Um, I'll leave you with this potent, um, this potent message. H three H three is fucking innocent. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> that was the most like low uh, energy <laughs> exit of a video. Yeah. Coming through on that ass, baby. You better watch out. You better watch out. Ooh, what up?